Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where we've just put together the bare minimum to get ourselves uh, optimization tech cards so that we can make rough dot. Uh, so that we can start with the very best recipe for rough data storage substrates. It's going to use a whole lot less iron. Uh, not to mention everything else except for rare metals, now that I think of it. We are putting together our shopping list to go to a new planet. Uh, I may have overdone it a little bit. We'll find out when the bots catch up. Might have to trim back the uh, intermediate products that I threw in there. Oh, come to think of it, are we taking steel? We are not. I should probably... Well, let's see. We're doing, I think, a hundred stacks of rail. So it should stop there. Um, that leaves us like 200 and a bit stacks. We're doing... A hundred stacks of iron... Uh, 50, 50, 25. No, wait, 50, 50, and 10. Uh, that's cutting it close, actually. Seems good. Oh, and I should take some steel. Uh, I think we'll cut down a bit on the advanced circuits. Uh, so that was what? 5,000 over 200, 25 stacks. Let's go 25 stacks of steel. And... Um... Probably some... Well, I'll wait until the basic resources have been loaded. Uh, but I'll add some uh, greenhouses, perhaps. Did we end up using any greenhouses on Granus? I don't think so. The only reason I was thinking of taking greenhouses is what if we need to smelt some steel. But it's probably easier just to send some more steel. If that's how it's going to be. Let me just double check something here. Seems good. Okay. Uh, as for science... Uh, I think we want to start spamming space rail. Oh, did we get our roboports sent upstairs? I think we did. Yeah, we got 30 roboports now, so that should be all we need for quite a while. Um, we should start making space rail. We can't get prod bonuses at any point when we make rail. So... I don't actually have anywhere where I can fit... Hmm, I could make this a smaller chest. Yeah, I, I think I'll have to do that. Uh, let's remove this, add a chest here, add an output here, and a passive provider here. Hey, hey, hacks. Tyler Talks, thank you very much for the 15 months, much appreciated, thank you. And uh, Yopo Alts, welcome, welcome also. Anytime, thank you so much though. Uh, so we're going to need to put some energy catalogs away so that we can make our space rail. Uh, I guess I should put some speed modules in this. Let's grab... What is that machine even called? Research server. Research server speed twos if we still have them. Mm -hmm. 
since a lot is going to be bottlenecking on these. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're having trouble. Oh. What are we missing for this? Blank data cards. So it's always rough data storage substrates, it seems like. We're about to start sending those up via rocket, so we'll be able to go a lot faster. Should I try playing Factorio sometime? Seems really intimidating. The thing about Factorio is, as complicated as it gets, it's really good at having you learn tiny piece by tiny piece. A complex machine is just a very big machine made up of lots of simple things put together in a complicated way, right? Uh, those simple pieces, uh, it starts you out learning very, very, you know, one thing at a time. Also, there's a demo. And the demo will give you a good few hours before you need to make a decision. Um, you could actually play the demo quite a lot. So I definitely recommend giving that a try if you're at all interested. Um, oxygen not included. A lot of people don't get too far with that because a lot of the time you need to figure out several things simultaneous, uh, simultaneously in order to progress. Um, but Factorio is very good at giving you all the simple little pieces one by one. Um, and you just sort of follow a trail of breadcrumbs and eventually notice that you've built something complicated. Cool. Uh, good luck with it. So, I don't think I'm sending rail up here. I could be wrong. Maybe it's part of science or something. I don't see it. Yeah, we're not sending rail up just yet, but we can always add it to our ridiculous everything rocket here. Um, I say ridiculous, but it's really quite functional. It keeps things pretty easy, actually. I don't actually have rail in the robot network, uh, in the rail network, either. I would have to make it on the spot. Would it be more stack efficient to send rail or to send it as its components? Uh, rail stacks to 100. Stone stacks to 50 and it takes one stone to make one rail. Um, so that that's already twice as good if we ignore the steel beams, which... It takes two steel plate if we're not going to send it as steel beam. But steel plate has double the stack size of stone. Yeah, it is, uh, it is better stack-wise if we send it as rail. Um, oh, I do have rail in the robot network, in the rail network. Uh, it gets made here and it can be taken from the mall. Although, if we start doing it at scale, I should probably do a dedicated build. Um, but yeah, we can definitely request some rail over here. Let's say... 10k? Um, actually... No, that, that should be fine. Uh, and then we need to go upstairs to the combinator that's requesting things. Um, and I'll just set that to, like, something over the top, like 25k. Uh, so then we slap together some rail and a energy catalog. Uh, and also holmium cable. And some steel plate. That's a lot, actually. But we can't make it on the ground. Uh, Holmium, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we do have Holmium plate here, otherwise we wouldn't have the energy science. Uh, Holmium cable is literally just plastic, plus Holmium plate. 
I could make it up here, but then we wouldn't get productivity bonuses, which I think we can get. Why do I not have assembly machines? Because I'm only requesting the blue ones. We should probably move forward with that. Let's get assembly machine 3 as a matter of course. And Holmium Cable uh, does in fact accept productivity bonuses. So it's two in, one out, kind of fast. Uh, we should probably go ahead and design that because for something that we're going to build at such high scale, I think it's about time we start using productivity modules. Okay, uh, I need to clean up all of this. It's going to take a moment because all every single train on every single per uh, surface is going to recalculate its paths because we're removing uh, rail signals. And we're already at the point where we have, like, just to give a rough idea, uh, I think we're closing in on 500 train stations, uh, logistic train stops, which is a bit more than I expected at this point. Okay, so, probably going to be a pretty ordinary layout, unless the sheer speed of the build... Uh, changes things. I would like to fit as many machines as I can. Actually, let's have a look. Let's say we use or end up using in the near future prod threes. And it's going to be kind of expensive, but we'll get there eventually. Uh... Chromium cable, one column. If, uh, if we have basic beacons with, say, whatever configuration it takes. Actually, how many efficiencies does it take to get minimum power consumption when we're using small beacons, I wonder? Uh, we need to give it some power for rate calculator to understand. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we want maximum productivity bonus so we can squeeze the most out of our resources. We want to speed it up, but we also want uh, enough efficiency so that we pay the minimum power consumption. It turns out efficiency modules are kind of cheaper to make as well. Like, significantly cheaper to make. Uh, especially since we're on a cryonite planet. The tier 3 efficiency modules need cryonite rods. Where, uh, which we've got an infinite supply of, basically. Well, not basically. We literally can make infinite cryonite rods on the planet we're on, without any extra logistics. Uh, whereas speed modules need, uh, what is it called? Immersite? Uh, Immersite crystals, which are in relatively short supply. So I really don't mind if we're gonna end up spamming a bunch more efficiency mod, oh my goodness. Okay, I knew I knew with the limited number of module slots, uh, it would take more efficiency than I'm used to with the lower tier modules as well to get this down to negative 80% consumption. But I didn't think it would be literally all efficiency modules in the beacon. Tier 6 efficiencies are so overpowered. Hell yes. And I love it. So this is plus 10% power consumption, uh, but we lose how much speed? 
60%. Oof, owie. Then again, I really don't care about making a few more machines at this point. I don't think. So, let's say we do this at least twice. And if it's slow enough, we can just do one belt for input, which it is. That's actually really good. Uh, and then we could have even more, but it's overkill, it's a lot of modules, uh, we're not going to need that much cable, and later on when we upgrade, the machines are going to be faster with the high tier modules and wide area beacons. We're not going to need as many machines anyway. So I think I'll just stick with, uh, with the big double H. The particle accelerator with four modules goes from 2.4 gigawatts to 20 megawatts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So that's in the middle. That's not exactly in the middle. Let's measure where we want this to be horizontally. Uh, as long as we're not encroaching on the opposite side, I'd like to kind of line this up. Uh, with the output down here, probably. Efficiency module go burr. The late ones do indeed. Let's have a look. Uh, tier 6, which is as far as I bothered with last playthrough. Energy consumption negative 400% for one module. So that's negative 200 if it's in a projector, a beacon like this. Um, but of course that has to offset massive... Uh, power thirst from the productivity modules. Uh, that's plus 140% and plus 200%. It's a lot less than the efficiency modules, though. Although the prods can only go straight in the machine, so they get the full effect. Okay. Uh, how fast is our output? Rate calculator, 31.68, so we'll have to use a blue belt, um, that's weird. Oh, I know what happened. Even though we're using cheats on this surface, uh, we have to actually have the undergrounds in our inventory in order to make it automatically do the underground belts. Uh, 1.32 cable per second. We can do that with fast inserters. And... Big beacon later on will go here. Um, I could just... Well, what's the rate if we go for two of these? Just slightly more than half a belt of Holmium plate. Then again, we'll probably have higher tier belts by the time we do this. Uh, advanced transport belt. What do we actually need for that? Advanced transport belt. Oh, wow. We only need material science one. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, I could just have a splitter here that delivers from one belt to all of these, although it's really not necessary. Unlock pylons yet? Not even close. Uh, by viewer... Are you, are you kidding me right now? Do you know where you are? Get out of here. A hey, Boovin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, so we need two physical inputs, which means from the train station... Uh, we'll want to merge it into one container. 
be gone, Bart, indeed. Budgie Bum, good to see you again. Nope. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess I could move this over a bit. Um, so I basically... Oh, how much does the entire thing need? Just over one Holmium plate belt. Uh, so I can just do two of these on each side. Actually, if I do it here, it's neater. Okay. Uh, so we need to do the shared belt thing, which is like so. Wait, what? Input belt on this side. Input belt on this side. And can we fit... I could just barely fit it like this, I guess. And we wouldn't have to upgrade the belts later. That's neat enough, I think. Alright, so how fast are the inputs? 1.5 per second between the two of them. I think fast inserters will probably be okay here. Should have just copy pasted this already. Copy paste this side. Uh, and then do I want to move it over to make it a bit neater? Possibly. Oh, that would, that would be nice, I think. And then this is going to be symmetrical as well. Seems good. Uh, and then... Uh, what's the max rate for the whole thing? Uh, more than one belt, less than two belts. So I think we'll probably just... Praise the symmetry? Goddamn right. Aesthetics actually does have some function as well, because if you can't easily figure out what you're looking at with your own builds, there's not much hope for anybody else. I don't like this part, though. Uh, we could just bring it down here. I think I kind of like that. I need some express loaders that we'll never actually see, but they are there. Hmm. Actually, I think even though it's technically wasting a bit, uh, I think I like that better. Uh, and then we need to push from the back to the front. Uh, only if we've got, I don't know, um, 40 stacks of resources in the back. And 40 stacks would be 40 times 15. I think that's 2,000. Yes, we've made that calculation enough times by now. Olmium cable. Uh, if there's more than 2k... Push it to the front and limit the front one to one cargo wagon. This way we can have both long trains and short trains pick up from here. And it won't get imbalanced in a way that it can't sort out. Train stop name is Holmium Cable Provider. 
spaghetti everywhere? Not this time. Uh, then you're doing it wrong? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you said it, not me. Uh, so this is going to be plastic, hold me in plate. Oh, I need the filter. Plastic. Hold me um plate. Oh, uh... Currently we only have Holmium ingots in the rail network, but I think I would definitely prefer to convert them to plate somewhere and have the trains pick them up, even though the stack efficiency is much lower. I see a lot of people use that method of naming stations. Even I do that. It's good, isn't it? It's, uh, it tells the story. So here, my naming convention is we are requesting plastic and holmium plate, and they're going into assembly machines, and out comes holmium cable. And we need to tell LTN what we've got. And we need to ask LTN to bring the goodies. Uh, two train loads of plastic would seem sensible. Two train loads of holmium plate. Unless it's very high throughput, that will be more than enough to make sure another train arrives before we run out. Uh, and then here we have... Let's see... We'll go for like a hundred stacks each. And hold me in plate, same stack size. Seems good. I do it differently on my input requesters though. Yeah, I only started using this convention on this playthrough, actually. I quite like it, though. Oh, and we need filters. Um, well, why don't I just copy these? Because I'm going to want some symmetry. How about this? Let's throw in our test items. Uh, Holmium plate and plastic. That is homing plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of similar color, uh, similar colors at this angle. Wait, which is? It's actually two homing plate to one plastic. So I think I would like. The homing plate on the front side of the bell. Even though it really doesn't make a difference here. Uh, then we take away our extra beacon. Pretty sensible to prod Holmium before anything, well, before most other things, because that's one of the finite resources on this planet. Holmium cable arrow requester box. Arrow requester box. Oh, that's filling up fast. I just didn't have alt mode on. And once there's a cargo wagon full in the back, it's going to get pushed to the front. Fantastic. That's actually quite fast. Uh, let's see. It's more than one stack per second. I will take it. Alright, but... I will... For the sake of the blueprint, remove all the modules. We'll add those when we're good and ready. What the? Oh. And what? 
what would be our rate with this? 120 per second? Uh, that's actually going to bottleneck on the blue belts. But yeah, I, I, I think I will get the prods in uh, as quick as I can. Let's figure out our power layout. Evil Plug, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I should be making Holmium Cable on planet and not in orbit. Uh, if you have an abundance of Holmium, it might be better to... I mean, it depends, right? Whether or not you want the prod modules, but... I mean, if you do want the productivity bonuses, then yeah, absolutely. Um... Where am I going to fit the... Let me just put the beacons back in. I wanted to put these here, but... Um, well, we could. If we want some more symmetry with the substations... This is technically more substations than we need, but I cannot. Uh, and we'll need a sub down here. And one up here. Let's make that symmetrical. That is looking pretty nice. Cool. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. No! Uh, undo won't put those back where they're supposed to be. Let's see, bulk rail loader. Luckily these don't have their own settings. We can just reconnect like this. Seems a good. Oh, why was this switched off? Alright, so snap to grid, absolute. 8624 is what we used to do. And we go 86251, and it turns out we can rotate this whole thing. If we so desire. Basic Holmium cable. And snap to grid looks good. Fantastic. And we can easily double that later if we so desire. We should really make a blueprint book for these exotic things. Might set up cables on my cryo planet since that's where I get the Holmium, indeed. Okay, uh, where should we put... Oh, research is finished. Uh, breaking force is good. Breaking force is good. Breaking force is still good. And I'll decide what to research after that. Uh, Holmium cable should be relatively close to the plastic, I think. Um, and I was thinking perhaps I should actually, yeah, I, I think I will. Let's grab our taxi. Um, I'm going to put a, actually wait for passenger not present. Um, I'm going to put an output here for Holmium plate. So we're not just outputting Holmium ingot to the rail network. It needs pyroflux. I don't think there's a way to get um, Holmium ingots without pyroflux, is there? Coal, sand, and Holmium powder, there is. I didn't realize we'd been bottlenecking Holmium on pyroflux at this point. It only needs 12.8 per second, but 
Uh, that's actually kind of relatively a lot for Pyroflux. We can get four per second when our... Why is it stopped? Uh-oh. Uh, when our Vulcanite core fragment processing is going at full speed. Uh, we can get like 12 per second. So... Vulcanite is completely saturated. Or we're actually missing sulfur here. Um. Why sulfur though? Wait, sulfur is saturated. What's going on? Did I forget to turn this station back on or something? I did not. Are we still missing trains? I thought I added lots of trains. Yeah, we've got plenty of idle trains. So how is it we have all of the sulfur? I haven't touched this station in a long time. It's been working. Provide stack threshold 80. Short trains and long trains are permitted. The input is connected to LTN. We've got 32,000 sulfur, or in other words, 640 stacks. We are requesting... Okay, here it comes. Oh. Wait, is the sulfur that we're getting from Immersite so much? Oh, you're stuck. I actually just configured that wrong. So we've actually got multiple trains queuing up for the high priority sulfur pickup because sulfur comes out of this as a byproduct. We want to get it out of the way. All right, good to know. Very good to know, actually. How fast does this make sulfur? It's only 4.8 per second, and yet this thing got backed up. That means these trains have been sitting here for a long time. Meanwhile, we haven't scheduled sulfur to come down here because we've been waiting for that sulfur to come over here. Um, but the other thing that made me consider is perhaps we actually do need to get rid of crushed vulcanite if it accumulates enough. Yay, Factorio. Chung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so we're not making we're not making pyroflux because we're not processing vulcanite core fragments because crushed vulcanite is backed up because we're not using sulfur to turn it into enriched vulcanite. Um. I think the way to go would be to actually start using uh, Vulcanite blocks to make Pyroflux. Even though currently it hasn't been able to catch up with that. But that's only because we've been missing Sulfur. It really doesn't consume Sulfur very quickly either. I think I'm going to bump up the priority on this one. Because I would really hate for Vulcanite to stop. There's a lot of implications from that one. A lot of problems down the line if Vulcanite stops. Um, and also, it doesn't even need that much uh, sulfur. I don't know if it would be a good idea to double this already, or if it's just because... For various reasons, this has stopped a few times. Uh, we only get... Well, we get 14.4 enriched vulcanite per second. This can consume 192. Um, I think I will double this. Can we copy-paste flip? I 
need to avoid the train stop. One, two. What? Oh, this output was in the way. Uh, where am I right now? That's right. I was going to do Holmium Plate uh, as a pickup. So we're going to need some rail signals, standard pickup. Should I prioritize plate? It's going to be hard not to. I may yet have to make uh, holmium ingots without the molten holmium. Oh, my robot ports are off? There we go. So this is Holmium Plate. Pick up. Uh, we're only able to make like 1.2 Holmium ingots per second. I'm guessing just one assembly machine is actually going to be enough to convert all of those, if not most of them. 0.5 per second. So the max rate this can produce, we would barely need more than two of these uh, to keep up. I'm thinking we just steal from this. And then... Same thing as we usually do. Put it in the back wagon first. And... It's actually going to look a little bit awkward if I try to mirror it. How about this instead? Looks fairly neat. Okay, so if there's 40 times 100, wait, 40k? Is that right? I don't think so. 4,000. Right, if there's 4,000 Holmium plate in the back, push it to the front. Let the train stop, know what we've got. And allow short trains and long trains. And did I not do the same thing here? I did. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and that is, of course, going to convert all of our ingots into plate, whether we like it or not in the near future. So, back to the Vulcanite. Uh, Vulcanite is in motion again, that's good. I know we've got more Vulcanite core fragment processing, 20 per second, than our current outpost can support. So we probably didn't lose any time. We may have lost some time some free resources because it's from an infinite supply. Yeah, we actually did. Maybe I should, like, massively overdo it and just double the, um, Vulcanite core fragment processing there. Isn't Blue Inserter too slow? Uh, I don't think so. Fire... Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. In fact, why don't I just make it a loader? It actually just doesn't cost any power, and I don't know if it's more UPS friendly or not that way. Probably. 
Okay. So I want a block to convert uh, vulcanite blocks into into pyroflux. And it might be a good idea. Let's see the rate. Uh, twenty. It consumes 28 crushed vulcanite per second. And what do we get from here? 12? Okay, so this is already way overkill for what we're able to supply. It's just been idle for too long. So time to do a block for converting vulcanite blocks into pyroflux. Let's check that recipe again. Because I really do want to use the the molten recipes. I don't want to have to have the less efficient uh, non-molten recipes that we have to like fall back on. Even if I have to really ramp up vulcanite production. So let's see, it's literally just sand and vulcanite block. Two solids into a chemical plant, one fluid out. That is going to be pretty simple. Maybe I should steal from myself. Uh, we've got two fluids in, one solid out. One solid, one fluid, one solid out. Um, I can't actually remember what recipe I would have used that looked like that. Whatever, it's probably going to take longer to find it than to just build this. Let's go chemical plants. And I know we can shape it like this because fluid out could... Well, over here it would have to be a bit different. Oh, it depends on how fast the fluid comes out as well. I think it's going to be pretty slow, though. Pyroflux has been slow everywhere I look at it. Yeah, this whole thing is only 120. Um, okay, so normally we go something like... Oh, there's no belts or anything in the middle. There's no reason to make this complicated. Let's just do our fluid like so. And probably on the other side as well. I'm guessing the inputs are going to be pretty slow. 12 per second, 24 per second. Uh, with productivity bonuses, it's going to be a little bit slower, so I think we'll go ahead and just use one blue belt down the middle here. I definitely do want to use prods for this. Even if Vulcanite is infinite, uh, it's not the fastest at the moment. Should have just copy pasted that. And fast inserter. One per second each, that should be fine. That's a nice neat build. I could go for even more quite easily. But uh, I doubt we can keep up with this many Vulcanite blocks already. Uh, I sort of forgot the part where I want to leave room for basic beacons. So let's do that. Uh, 
fantastic. And immediately after removing those, I realize I want to keep them there so I can figure out where I want to put the substations. Uh, if I did expand this, this is as far away as I could put the other machines. So I could just put the substations on the outside like this. Uh, and we would have one in the middle. Oh, cool. Wait, that wouldn't power the, uh, the wide area beacon, but we'll probably have substation pylons by then. I'm pretty sure I checked earlier, and uh, the research that we need to get Wide Area Beacon 2 will basically get substation pylons right before or about the same time. Cool. Uh, if we are going to potentially expand it to that, then... Would we be able to fit double that in the whole block? Or something else on this side of the block? The answer is no. By a couple of tiles. Um, I mean, we don't have to have... That's not quite right. Oh, this has to be this far apart anyway. For the wide area beacon. I, I think I'll just stick with this. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so... Container... It was just two solids, one to one, right? Although the sand stack size is double. How many tiles do you have in your blocks? Uh, this is the blueprint right here. Uh, the snap to grid is 86. Uh, so that's how often it repeats. And the snap is 25 tiles from the edge. Okay, so we'll do this again. Although I don't think that big of a container is necessary. Actually, let me just double check the rate. Uh, slightly more than one blue belt per second, sure. Let's do... A smaller container for this one. Supposedly the larger containers impact UPS, but, well, I guess it's not too worth worrying about it, uh, if that's the case. So we're going to need some output, like so, or potentially like this. That's too short. Uh, it's at that awkward length. Or it kind of looks bad no matter what. Alternatively... Do I use the big chest just for the aesthetic? I think I do. Okay, so one and a two. Uh, what are we looking for? Sand and vulcanite block. And let's get our test inputs in. Sand. 
Vulcanite block. Oh, that actually ran out. And we need the same filters over here. What the? And that's actually going to be symmetrical. Oh, I... No, I didn't forget. We don't, in fact, need a fluid input. So that's good. Kind of like the way that looks. What if it looked like this? I think I like that more. Yeah, I feel like that's tidier. Beacon is in the middle. Fantastic. And then uh, it's just fluid output, so we don't need these. We'll have a huge storage tank, a couple of pumps going straight to the cargo wagons, or the fluid wagons rather, and the shape of the pipes shouldn't matter. 480 per second max. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. So much blueprint... Blueprint porn. <laughs> Wait, what? Blueprint porn. Okay, uh, this will go here, and... That'll be that. I think it'll... I don't think even when we speed things up, it's going to be enough to cause, like, a fluid bottleneck. Okay, uh, substation right about here. We need it to reach the logistic train stop input. We don't need a provide stack threshold, just a fluid provide threshold. Short trains and long trains are permissible. Pyroflux uh, provider. And I'm actually going to make this priority below normal. Because all of the other Pyroflux we get as like a side output. Um, this we actually have to deliberately spend resources to get Pyroflux. So, uh, so that's going to be limited. 100 stacks each, sand, uh, less than 200, 100. Vulcanite, less than 100, 100. Oh no, it's the same. I keep forgetting a uh, Vulcanite block has... A 200 stack size in this mod. Or this version. Okay. I guess this is about as symmetrical as it gets. Except that that wire is arbitrarily not connected in the same place. Whoa. Alright, I believe that is our blueprint. It's going rather slow right now because we don't have power. Nice. That's going to be much, much faster than what we've had before for Pyroflux. Pyroflux... Snap to grid. Absolute. Train stop names. I think I forgot. Now we have to start over. 
What the? Get out of here. Give me some inventory. Train stop names. Uh, this is requesting sand and vulcanite block going into chemical plant to make pyroflux. Sand. Oops. Two train loads. Vulcanite block, same thing. Uh, long trains only for this one, I think. And that's it. This is already set up correctly. Alright. Uh, and let's just double check the wires, because it's very easy to forget that. Cool. Blueprint. Pyroflux. Train stop name, snap to grid. Make sure we removed any cheat items. And I think we're good. Why not double the build? I think it's this is already gonna consume more than we can supply it. Most of the time, quite likely. It's also gonna supply way more pyroflux than we're able to consume so far. More flux, more fun, indeed. Okay, so I want that right next to Vulcanite blocks. Let's get our construction train to pay that one a visit. Wait for inactivity. And I should see how many prod modules we have. Productivity. We have zero productivity three modules. Uh, no we don't, we've got eight. Did I logic this wrong? If there's more prod ones than prod threes, let it go down here. We're totally saturated on prod ones. Uh, we're trying to balance it between the two of them. But we've only made eight prod threes because we're out of advanced circuits. I forgot. Um, we kind of sort of... A little bit... Absolutely asked too much of our base for now. It looks like... Well, I was tentatively going to say it looks like we're not having trouble keeping up making our uh, electronic components, but we're actually just about to run out. Uh, I don't think we are going to run out of silicon. Potentially. I think we fixed that late yesterday. How much holmium plate do we have? Hardly any. And... I don't know, maybe I should do prod 1s or prod 2s. Let's just add an icon here for modules. Um, we're limiting prod 2s to 50. So why is there 46? Because there's no more red circuits. We can make prod ones without red circuits. I haven't actually researched beacons yet. Uh, I should probably do that before breaking force. If we're going to start using this stuff. Our train is looking... Not confused, it's actually just the bots have picked up stone or something. They can't get back into this particular... It's it's always that one. I'm going to limit what we put into it a little bit more. Except... 
All right, let's make it a hundred of each for the more common inserters. That gives us back four stacks. All right, are we bringing? We're not bringing any sand. Are we short on sand? I bet we are. Yeah, we're a little short on sand. Is this Nalvis? Nope, this is the new Nalvis. Otherwise known as Hagen. Um, it's the planet closest to the interstellar map. Because later on that's going to drastically reduce the travel time of our spaceships. Um, I can't really decide what to do next. I'm surprised we haven't had a single... Okay, I'm not... I'm actually not surprised we haven't had a single delivery to that block yet. Can you rename planets? No, unfortunately you can't. Uh, probably because they... Uh, the space exploration devs apparently gave out... A Patreon reward or something like that to name a planet and say, you know, what that planet's going to look like and so on. Uh, meaning we don't get to name our planets. What was I going to... Should I use the prod ones? If I do prod ones early in the production chain, like where we use our pulverizers, uh, it's going to make all the more difference. Just give me these. Time for the new outpost then? Uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Definitely want to find a couple of things to do where we can forget about how our base is doing for resources for the moment. But we definitely have more uh, pulverizer uh, potential throughput here than our base on Granis is able to keep up with, so I think this is a prime candidate for prod modules. If I don't add a beacon, we're at 12 per second core fragments. Uh, Granis. Well, let's see. Four mining drill. Entity. We've got four. And at the current rate... We can do 18 core fragments per second. That's more than I thought, actually. Uh, let's see. We've got ten of these machines. I could... I, I think I should double this, actually. So we can have the prod modules. Also, I probably messed up that ratio. This is consuming Vulcanite. Yeah. Well, whenever we have two production steps next to each other and we productivity both of them, it is going to mess with the ratio. So we're going to be bottlenecked a little bit on the pulverizers down here, making crushed vulcanite. Uh, but not if we double the whole thing. So let's cut that off for the moment. My inventory is way too full. Um... This robot network doesn't have logic bots, so I can stash these in here. And let's put that back where it belongs. So we'll do a little copy paste, but there's going to be a little bit more work to it than that for this one. Or 
are made of robots. That was quick. The train's already on its way. Hmm. Okay, this much is going to be the same, or is it? And this part. I'll go there. This part is gonna look mostly the same. I need more pulverizers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just barely can't handcraft the rest. Uh, and we're gonna have our pyroflux. Probably head down here. Oh. This is the old way that I was doing the balancing. That's probably fine, actually. I need a 4x4 container. I can't make that either. I think the construction train probably has pulverizers. It does, it's got five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I make one? After making that? Yes, yes I can. Beautiful. I could just have the... Oh, that'll be pretty neat, actually. Yeah, why don't I just push everything from here into this container? Simple. It's one off. A perfect fit. Uh, cruel fate. And... I wonder what would look neater. This will go down here, actually. Seems good. Alright, so fluid makes its way over here. Just a couple of tiles short of that comfortably fitting, but that's okay. Uh, and that'll actually be the whole thing doubled. Hold on. If we have four red belts for output there... 17... It's like... 30 per second. And yeah, this one belt is fine. I don't think we need this much belt up here. Maybe I could speed up these a little bit so it doesn't quite bottleneck on them. 17 per second in... 14 per second out. Hmm. I could just put one more, I guess. It's not going to be very tidy over here. Wait. So, six per second surplus of Vulcanite. One of these does 4.176. I meant surplus of, uh, Oh no, Vulcanite itself. We only need one. It doesn't fit in the middle neatly. But if we can just give one of these a prod module, I mean uh, some prod modules, and get the belts going to them. 
from both ends. Easier said than done. With the shape of the belts. It's actually really awkward. Where should I do it? of these machines does it take uh, 1.74 per second 7.2 four of them what if we had the top four filter their outputs vol crushed vulcanite no wait regular vulcanite Perfection is the enemy of good? Never. Uh, it's, if I'm going to use a red belt here, it's going to have to look like this, I guess. How much are we getting from those four? Only seven per second, so, si uh, so the sides of the belt don't matter. Except that one's going to block that one. Except that... No, I think it'll be okay. Probably. And then we just have to get it down here. Uh, I don't actually have any red undergrounds in the way. Can we get a pulverizer over here, pretty please. And input, and output. And that should mean we no longer bottleneck on these machines down the bottom. We're getting 34.8 Vulcanite per second. We're able to consume 36. These four specifically give 7 per second. Uh, they all go to this one that can consume 7.2 per second. Only something is amiss. There we go. And 7 point whatever per second uh, is less than half a belt, so it shouldn't matter if this half is blocking these ones. Um, it will manage to drain. Soon, TM. Yep, there it is. Hmm, the flow here is really consistent, so we should be able to see... So this one's always managing to empty. That'll be the last one to empty. This one's always managing to empty. This one's starting... Uh, this one is actually managing to empty. We just can't see it yet. And that whole half belt is going to disappear before that moves forward.
The math says they don't block each other. It just is going to take a little while for that condition to be met. Alright, we'll check on this in a little while. Effect transmission is actually 50% done as well. So we could put... Oh, here comes more Vulcanite. Uh, I don't actually have the means to check if a beacon could fit here. Unless... Oh no. Uh... I may have slightly sabotaged the beaconage over here. Well, it would just mean a couple of extra beacons. They actually only cost 100 kilowatts each for the small ones. Nice. It's actually already got to the point where all of the four top ones uh, have their outputs empty. Cool, cool, cool. So, Pyroflux. Uh, we don't see any yet. Because probably sand, if not Vulcanite blocks themselves as well. Vulcanite blocks are waiting on enriched Vulcanite. Enriched Vulcanite is waiting on crushed Vulcanite. Crushed Vulcanite just arrived, actually. Uh, how much crushed are we getting? 20.8. Or was it 0.08? No, 20, about 20.9 per second. Uh, and this can consume... 28.8 per second. So that's not going to be running full speed. Uh, which means we're going to be getting approximately... Say... 10 to 12 enriched per second from there. And hardly any from here. Alright, this is hardly ever going to be running at this rate. We massively overbuilt this one. Uh, Lumpy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many prods do we have? Oh, we've got our first tier 3 prod modules getting made. Fantastic. The first thing I'm going to spend tier 3 prods on is more Vulcanite. Uh, productivity because prod modules need vulcanite not to mention lots of other things that's a funny way to say future proof right it's not that many machines either so I really don't mind uh, for the moment though I think oh I should definitely prod these up Because they're bottlenecked on the physical resource. How much uh, does it slow it down? Minus 20% and plus 8% productivity. Um, but that's actually a really good fit for what we've. for how much we're able to supply it so far. And I'll prod these as well. Until we can get better ones. Squeeze every bit of Vulcanite as we can. Now then, let's drop these back off. Why do I have core fragments? We have actually 96 prod 3s now. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I could go ahead and steal some speeds. I think I will. I should check on our power before we get to... Oh, wow. 
We've still got quite a lot of power, although it does consume uranium faster. Um, the more power we consume. But I think we're actually fine on that front. And efficiencies also... Efficiencies are having no trouble whatsoever. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me go put these items back, because I don't want them clogging up the place. Shift C, that didn't work. Uh, how about this goes here, this goes here. I'll actually find a place to squeeze in the inputs. How about this goes here? And regular core fragments. I had them somewhere. I think Shift C got rid of them. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came over here. That is fine by me. You could move the uranium back to request chests if you would like better visibility on a mouse. Uh, that's fine. I know we've got plenty of uranium for a good while. I've also got a few million, or a couple of million, uh, queued up to be mined, I think. Everything's still working. Alright, uh, what should we do next? I really want to do an outpost. Let's get away from these uh, temporary resource shortages, because we asked too much. Uh, we've actually got... Oh, we don't have any advanced circuits here. Hmm. How many prods do we have? 64. We do need advanced circuits to make... Uh, Productivity modules. What would the ratio look like? I wonder. After we change this. We're, we're super bottlenecked on physical resources, so I don't care if this slows down the machines. Uh, basically just makes the copper cable more net rate. I think it was, uh, net rate 3.75. It's actually smaller. Well, as long as it's, uh, as long as the copper cable saturates, I don't care. Uh, how many prods is this? 4 times 12. We need 192 for the whole thing. That is not happening just yet. We've got 19... Probably just a handful more. Plus 7. 26. Uh, how about I just cut off... this belt. So once we get another delivery of electronic components, uh, all of it is going to have a productivity bonus of 32%. It might take a bit longer. But the actual rate that we get stuff is going to be higher. What about electronic components? I feel like... I should probably increase that as well. In fact, maybe I should have done this first, because it's a step prior in the production queue. Uh, but we would need the same number of prod modules to make the most of this one. 
How's our power? Still really good, actually. Alright, so we are getting... It's not actually going full speed. Let's have a look at what we've been making historically over the last little while. It's trending downward, but at the moment we're making about six productivity threes per minute. So a couple of minutes for two machines. About 24 minutes before we could prod up a whole half block like that. We'll come back to this one. Uh, how much are we looking for here? 4.9k. I might just manually pick that up. We've got... Yeah, we've got that here. One way to do it. Rail is being delivered. Hughes Mike, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Another five, thank you so much. And thank you for the 30 that came before that as well. Very, very much, thank you. Uh, Fraser K, a name I can't read. Kyung, uh, Commander Z Zombidito, hope you like. Thank you so much. And uh, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, it looks like we did overshoot with our targets. I think less iron. No doubt we'll be able to pick up iron easily on whichever planet that we want to outpost first. I think I'll go for Iridite before Beryl. Oh wait, didn't we see something on the Beryl planet that was convenient? Lots and lots of Immersite. Really easy to get to. Uh, how does Gibil look for Immersite? Decent. Oh wow, that's also good. <laughs> uh, but we need to clear biters. I forgot. I mean, they're both fairly small planets. Um, it'd take a little while, but I could honestly just do it with power armor. This one's 3% biter threat. There's like 7 biters on it or something. I've got... Spider expansion turned off. I might actually have to use factory search to find the biters. Um, okay. So we can definitely cut back on the iron plate. Should probably take more steel, honestly. Yoka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's going to end up with a split stack. Because they take from the bottom. We've also messed up the nice neatness over here as well. Uh, the bots are a bit too busy to deal with my inventory, apparently. Just put that in there for now. Oh, heat shielding, LDS. Have I requested those over here? I haven't. Damn. 
delivery cannon chests. I'm carrying those. Um, should probably take communication stuff. And got power poles. Rail power poles, stuff to make signals, big drills, uh, cargo rocket landing pads and launches, plenty of stations, lots of circuits, plenty of conde uh, atmospheric condensers for making fuel, lots of refineries, uh, we probably need chemical plants as well. I might just carry those myself. Uh, I should already be requesting them. I can just search for them like this. There we go. Uh, let's get like 50... Robot stuff, autocrafter supplies. Uh, that's a good idea. I do have a stack of construction bots and a stack of logistic bots, but we could probably take a few more construction bots. Let me just pick those up, because I don't want to create a request for them. Probably should have done that with the chemical plants. Chemical plants. Oh, I didn't even receive any. Oh, no. What did... Did I set it to strictly 10? I didn't. Why did they take it? Give those back. And my construction bots. What the hell? Chemical plant. 10 to infinity. Chemical plant. 10. What? Oh, is it a setting? Auto trash above requests. Well, there's your problem. Does that mean if I update like this? Uh, we're still going to be auto trashing until I change something. Uh, okay. Give me back those instruction bots. And chemical plants. Uh, we've already got pump jacks. Yep. Lots of big tanks, loaders. Anti-media stuff. Plenty of solar panels. I think we're good? Question mark? Pipes? Good point. How much space have we got left? Hard to say until this finishes unloading. Oh, there it goes. Perfect timing. Uh, we have 47 stacks. We can make pipe when we get there as well, but underground pipe is a little bit of a pain. Oh, steel underground pipe. Let's use those. Say 250 should be actually quite a lot. Uh, we do need regular underground pipe for the oil build as well. So that's 10 stacks. We've got, like, 40 left or something. We're carrying inserters, but we're definitely going to run out. Inserter. Oh, there should be a bunch in here as well. Should be relatively easy to find. 
uh, stack inserters, yellows. Okay, maybe not. Oh, it's only the prerequisite inserters that are in here. Hmm. We don't need that many inserters, come to think of it. Wait, there's four long inserters, two filters. Uh, I can't see the rest. But considering all the bulk rail loaders uh, and loaders themselves, we tend to use far fewer with this playthrough. At least not when we're not doing production locks that use assembly machines. Even so, I would like to take an extra stack of each. Enough robo ports for rocket crashes? That's a good point. Robo port. Let me just get the inserters first. We don't need more than a stack of filters. Uh, probably don't need more than a stack of. Yeah, this is fine actually. Uh, robo port. That gives us thirty. How about? How about more than thirty? Don't actually have any more over here right now. I think our quota for roboports should be increased. Oh, now there's something I would have forgotten. Cliff explosives. Uh, how many cliffs are on this planet? It says flat, but does that mean zero cliffs or some cliffs? It looks like it means zero cliffs. Hagen doesn't say flat, does it? It says hilly. Okay. Uh, I think we're actually good for cliff explosives. Gotta make sure we take military stuff. Um... Oh, it's in this regular old chest over here. I'll take one stack of destroy capsules. I'm not going to rely on them that much. Uh, don't need the life support, really. Not the personal robot ports. We need... Oh, what's our best adaptive armor that we can make right now? Tier 3. We've already got it. Can we research? We need material 1. What about suits? I've got access to Power Armor Mark 2. Which gives us 8x8 eight eight rather than 6x6. Six six. I don't... Uh, I know that's significantly better, but uh, I'm going to be slightly not wanting to bother with that. Okay, do we have power armor lying around? I don't think so. Um, I don't think we ever made... Oh, we, we might have made modular armor at one point. But I bet it's on Nalvis or something. All surfaces. Yep, it's in a wooden chest on Nalvis. Okay. Uh, so. Screw it. Let's do a quick production chain. On second thought, all of these are prereqs, right? Light armor... Oh, I can literally handcraft it. I just need efficiency twos. I've already got the speed twos. Uh, efficiency twos and LDS. Is 
it's going to take a while to handcraft this, but it's also the easiest way to do it. Efficiency... Two? Why do we have no efficiency two right now? Because there's no red circuits? Oh no. That is by far the biggest part of handcrafting this. Would be the efficiency modules. Um, could we maybe stop making the threes? And... There's no red circuits. Oh, there's literally no red circuits. Um, we need electronic components badly. There's more than a train load here. What's going on? Oh. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, well, let's make absolutely sure that the electronic components are going to come here. Priority equals yes. And put that green wire where it should have been in the first place. Where am I looking? Shouldn't be too... Yep, that was quick. Alright, so that's going to go make red circuits. Um... And once we have red circuits, we can get efficiency twos, which means we can get power armor. Let's drop this massive priority before I forget about it. Subhan, Sigma B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Re Rebia Freddy, welcome, welcome. Also, uh, atmospheric thingies, yes, we have those. HP Crusher, good to see you again. Just a suit mark two is just 40 material science. I don't have material science though, and I want to go make this outpost. Uh, do you have this save uploaded somewhere? Not at the moment, no. The save does get very, very big with space exploration. Did I miss something? I did. There we go. Do you have mining drills and imasite drills? I don't have the imasite drills, that's a good point. All mining drills I do have. I'm carrying... Oh, I've actually got the quarry drills right here. Uh, I'm carrying a stack of big mining drills as a matter of course. Still wrong? What do you mean? I'm, I'm preventing this from going where there's no prod modules for the moment. How many prods do we have? Uh, 55. That's not that bad. 55. Let's... How many would that be? Uh, 12 times 4, 48. Hmm. I would have to remove some of the inserters. Seems good. So we got three quarters of this thing giving us prod moduled uh, advanced circuits now. How many do we need to get? Well, let's just bring this over here regardless. Um, but what I was wondering was how many do we need to get some efficiency twos? It's 10 for one efficiency two. We need 25, so 250. So what I dropped in is actually enough. To get our power armor mark two.
Alright, so how about our shopping list? Oh, we've actually still got 37 stacks available. The O turned off one efficiency two at the bottom. Oh, did I... Yeah, I thought these three were efficiency threes. There we go. How many do we have? Eight already? That's fantastic. Um... So I'm already carrying the drills. I'm carrying roboports, um, chemical plants, furnaces. We've got lots of solar. Carrying extra inserters. Uh, we have plenty of steel and circuits if we want to make chests. We've got plenty of iron and green circuits if we want to make uh, signals. Probably carrying too many modules right now. Bots put some red circuits back into inventory, so they did. How many have we got? 20 already. Nice, we're almost there. Uh, LSF, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I could take some cargo rocket sections. I mean, we can always send those. Although it might be a bit of a wait, potentially. Yeah, I'll send enough packed cargo rocket sections. Ooh, research is done. How about energy weapon damage, since we're about to fight biters? Uh, let's see. Packed. We've got 96 packed cargo rocket sections. Uh, we don't lose any when we send them by cargo rocket because they are a whole stack. Discounting the ones that we'll get back from recycling. Uh, if we send... What is it? 20? Then... We'll definitely be able to get back once we sort out fuel. Defense towers? That's not the worst idea either. Um, do I have a request for laser turrets? Because I should. I do not. Let's put it... I should really reorganize this. Let's just put it here for now. Laser turrets. There's our efficiency modules. We can... We need advanced circuits. Uh, they should be up here. Power armor. Why is it that I can... That I can handcraft the power armor but not Mark II. I've got the speed modules, the efficiency modules. Uh, the LDS, where did that go? Didn't I have it? Wait, it says I have it. Big electric motors. It's everything, right? Or big electric? Because big electric goes into the previous one. That's the kind of thing I was looking for. Except I was looking at LDS uh, circuits first. So if I pick up more LDS... I mean, Big Electric. Where is Big Electric? Uh, don't, don't search all surfaces. Here we go. There we go. 
And it turns out when you have every single prerequisite, handcrafting power armor does not take long at all. Low density electric motors? Precisely. Big low density electric motors. I should really do my combat layout as well. Um, I guess I should probably just make another portable nuclear reactor. Which, as it turns out, is very easy. And I'll go grab another stack of uranium fuel cells for that. Even though that's overkill, but carrying a couple of stacks of these around as a matter of course isn't the worst idea either. Just waiting for the handcraft. What else should we put in the rocket? We have 17 stacks left. Putting in... Well, I was going to say putting in solid rocket fuel wouldn't add up to much in terms of... Fueling the rocket to get back. But it would not be insignificant for my quality of life being able to fly around. In fact, if we're going to attack the biters, uh, it's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I should just fill the rest with solid rocket fuel. Or carry more of it myself. Alright, power armor. And I'll have to wait before I can put this in. Uh, let's see, we don't have any combat gear except for jetpacks in the thruster suit. Um, maybe I should go double portable nuclear reactor. I didn't even bother with the sniper laser. I may have built one. Back on Nalvis, I did not. Uh, I didn't even bother with that because of the power consumption, and I actually needed to draw from batteries to keep up with one of these laser machine guns. Max consumption, 3.4 megawatts. This is 2.4. If we go to 4.8, uh, we could run one of these perpetually. A sniper laser can draw 3 megajoules. Um, which is actually slower than this, but the DPS is lower as well. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe double portable nuclear reactor. Oh, speaking of... Ow, 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 ow. Stop, 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 stop. Ouch. Uh, I'm thinking double nuclear reactor. Uh, let me put the thruster suit back on. Where is it? Oh, I also have less inventory space with the power armor. That's fine, I guess. G'day, are you going to a biter planet? Yes, indeed. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where am I going? Here we go. Um... Personal logistics. Make another portable nuclear reactor. And I definitely want at least one sniper laser. And maybe a pair of personal submachine gun lasers. Maybe just one big battery. And... How about a pair of jetpacks? How do I make jetpack? Nice and easy. If you want more stuff, you can drop it in the ice rocket, since you will need water anyway. Yeah, I will need water. Unless I'm misremembering. 
Uh, yeah, it is waterless, or one of them is. Ybil uh, is not waterless, actually. We're going to do that one first. Exorion is where we're getting our barrel, and it's pretty similar, but it's uh, smaller and waterless. Okay. Oops. I'll need to go get more fuel cells. Uh, jetpacks are kind of slow to handcraft. It's no big deal, I guess. Let's go get that fuel. Uh, where did I put it? Alright, so that is 4.8, I think it was. Megawatts. Uh, 6.8 consumed by personal lasers. More than that if we add the sniper. But we're going to have some batteries. The batteries don't have unlimited output like they do in vanilla. But uh, it's actually only 1 megawatt each. The max output. So we could get 5.8... This would be 6.8. Oh. If we have two potable nuclear reactors and two big personal batteries, uh, and two personal SMG lasers, uh, all of this power can just barely keep up with these two. In that case, I don't think I will bother with the sniper lasers. I think this will be it. Uh, J.S. Zent Ram, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see how the movement feels. Oh, it's actually, it's actually the power armor that gives me more inventory space. That's nice. Uh... I think that'll be enough. I might have to be a little bit careful, but that should be enough speed. A good balance of mobility, defense, and offense. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's the rest of your stream today? Larius, Ragnarok, Crazy Berto, Doombri, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Sydney Von, uh, Sydney Kenson Von Ice T. Good to see you again, also. And thank you very much for the sub as well. Yes. Precisely. Uh, and this vegan welcome as well. How y'all doing? We're just gearing up to go get our next outpost. Uh, and I'm trying to decide what to do with our last seven stacks of stuff here. Maybe I should just bring more rocket fuel. It'd be comforting uh, knowing when really unlikely to run out of it. I don't need processed fuel. Oh, I actually have a request for processed fuel still. And I'll grab some more, just carry it around directly. Almost got the knack bars, nice, nice. Just needs a bit more time to fill the buffers, perfect. Knack is quite the milestone, makes a huge difference. Um... I don't know. Oh, I should definitely take more assembly machines. We've actually only got 22, so I think I'll take assembly twos. Um, we just need to be able to... make this, that, or the other on the spot. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're ready. We can always send more stuff if necessary. Your auto crafter looks pretty neat. Can I do something like that in normal SE mod pack as well? The mod you need, whether it's SE or not, is called Crafting Combinator um, to allow you to set recipes or read recipes for that matter um, from a machine. Jack Hell, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Take care, Ragnarok. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, do I have the laser turrets? I do. Uh, I think this is pretty much everything. Oh, I could probably take more quarry drills. It wouldn't be the worst idea to just cover every seam on the map. Before we have to come back. Uh, I should really put these back as well. Where's our module build? There it is. And I might re-enable efficiency threes. We actually do have some speeds here. What about prods? I don't think I'm... Well, we don't have any prod threes. Uh, we literally don't have any prod threes. That's weird. Why are we not... Oh, because advanced circuits still. That's fine. Uh, I guess I could take more signals... Otherwise, we're going to have to make a lot of them. Signal. There we go. Give me those. That's a lot, actually. Uh, delivery cannons? I don't think so. Fifty regular rail signals is actually quite a bit. I think next time I'll take ingots instead of regular plate. Okay, enough dilly dallying. Let's go to... I don't remember the name of it. I was going to call it Granus. It's got a kind of a similar name. Gib Gibil. This is where we're going to get out iridite. Uh, we don't want to point at Hagen Orbit. We want to point at Gibil. And away we go. Did that not work? Fuel check, cargo sections check, space capsule check. Oh, I, apparently I had to click destination position, even though it was already saying general vicinity, because I just saw these numbers change. Okay. Off we go to our fourth planet. Which would be our sixth surface, not counting. Whoa, that was kind of loud. And we've got a welcome map right before us. I didn't realize we had uh, behemoth biters to worry about yet. You know what I should have done as well? Is... Uh, gotten myself some... Some heavy rocket launcher, that would have been a good idea. We've got flamethrower. I could just toss a little bit of flame on the behemoths. Yay, Slip. Slip, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Um, there's actually not that many biters on this planet. They're going to be a little hard to find, but I think we can use factory search. Entity... Biter? Uh, what about... Worm? Apparently we can't use uh, factory search to look for enemies. So that's going to be fun. Maybe I should... I was going to say maybe I should put together Iridium pile drivers, but this is literally our first planet for Iridium. If you could search for biters, I was going to lose it? Why? It's just another entity. We can do a, we can do a check with uh, space exploration to check that there are no biters left on the planet, so why not? Ooh. There's something foreboding about the core scene, but erudite. Spent an hour looking for a soul worm on a planet to clear it. That would be a pretty good reason. The flame is not as effective on these behemoths as I was hoping. I'll have to be a little bit careful. Infinite map? Uh, no, it's quite finite. It is a relatively small planet, but... Um, it, it's a relatively small planet with few biters, but it's still going to take a minute to find them all. Wormsel was sneaky, indeed. Martakus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, the shielding that I've got is stronger than I thought, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. And I've got the uh, Tesla gun if we really need to panic. Ow, 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 that was stronger than expected. The vanilla worm spit really is OP. Okay, you know what? You can... Oh, I forgot. Rockets hit... Rockets hit trees and rocks even if you're flying. The behemoths are actually so much less scary than the spit. That's the biggest nest we've seen over this way. I should really just focus the spawners. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got, um... Uh, I do have defender capsules. That'll probably help quite a lot. I don't think we've increased our uh, robot limit. 30 is still pretty good. I only brought one stack of defender capsules, but that's still quite a lot. On to the next one. Good thing there are so few rocks here. Uh huh. Alright, that's fairly effective. Let's make the most of the robot lifespan. Kind of hard to spot the biter nests on the map, though. El Pancho, you're dizzy again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Maybe I should try going in a spiral pattern or something. Defender capsules are not so good, honestly. They deal physical damage. Yeah. Did I say defender? Because I meant to say destroyer. Defenders are quite good for when you can first get them, though. Worms, though. Thick worms. Okay, down this way. I guess these are the biggest nests we're gonna find. Okay, careful. I actually lost five of the bots already. anymore. Fantastic. Yeah, I kind of forgot that when we popped our heads into the pyramid a while ago, we discovered that the biters had fully evolved. Uh, so it is going to take a little more work to dislodge them than I realized, but we should be fine. just exploded. Wait, did the green, was the green biter a kamikaze type? Let's have a peek. I can't see one here. The dark green tanky biter. Maybe go around the edge then work inwards? Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Maybe I should do a spiral. because I would prefer to run out of uh, my finite combat resources when we've been through the worst of it. Actually, let me get this one over here. I sent my new to SE friend into a pyramid. Oh no. Hold on. What's this biter capable of? I can't... I can't see. Behemoth Snapper. Okay. I don't think that's a kamikaze. Told him there's free stuff in there? Oh no. Well, it's kind of free. It doesn't technically cost materials. Oh, I like how Energy Weapon 5 is being researched while we do this. Maybe I should back off for a minute. Oh, I just wasted some bots. Whoops.
The worms take up all of the time to kill. Destroyers, indeed. Maholic, good to see you again. Oh well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stuff you have to steal isn't usually considered free. The cost is just in biter money. Oh no. Vlad, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. And give me those spawners. Missed one still. There we go. Alright, have I missed any nests? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if I should be putting up some laser towers around our crash site. Uh, you know what would have been smart is marking the crash site, but we could use factory search to find it, I guess. Spiders pay with blood or slime or ooze or whatever they produce. Okay. There go the spawners. And there go the biters. I would say I guess I could have picked the other planet to do first, but this gives us Iridium pile drivers. Um, we can automate clearing the next one. They are very expensive, but there's not a whole lot that needs to be cleared on our next target. like this much. It's going to take a minute clearing the whole planet. The biter nests are going to be a lot easier to spot on the map over here though. Forty percent on energy weapon damage. I don't really want to wait that long. Where am I going? Time is also a resource in Factorio, indeed. And in pretty much everything else. Time is arguably the number one resource in XCOM. That looks kind of cool. Uh, missed a spot over here. Time is number one resource in real life. Too bad there's no time mine. As far as we know. I mean, someone would probably just monopolize it, right? Fighters worship the weird looking box that is bigger on the inside, and you slaughter them in their last standing shelter temple. Oh no. Did they have to attack on sight, though?
Away we go. Uh, I've lost track of where I was. Here we go. Got to look for the slightly different shade of red. And then... I knew it would take a minute, but I didn't quite take in the scale of this map. But it'll be relatively easy to clear it. I'm really looking forward to making battleships with uh, the energy shield. Uh, the, uh, what is it called? Combat mechanics overhaul? Uh, not to mention laser artillery. Somehow I didn't get hit there. Down south. Railguns? Oh, the uh, railgun turrets? Yeah, maybe. They don't shoot, like, through and destroy your own walls or something, do they? I don't think there's a way... Oh, I suppose I could do it with uh, power switches. Um, if railgun turrets don't require power, I don't necessarily see how I'm going to prevent them from wasting shots on asteroids, if it's on a battleship. We can find out, indeed. Okay, down this way. Can we clear the entire planet before energy weapon damage 5 is complete? Not wasted, just target practice? But you want it to use the railgun shots on the biters. Up, up, up we go. Fantastic. Don't let the... Uh, that's what that explosion was. It was a bot being killed. Poor bot. Just bring slash make more ammo? But then you have more container stress. a lot of hit points to chew through. Good pattern. Alright, that is not a biter nest. Those are biter nests. At least it's not the whole planet that's covered in this, uh, splotches of red that look kind of like biter nests. There we go. Railguns use stored electrical... electromagnetic charges to launch projectiles, indeed. 
It might be a bit uh, apocryphal, but um, I had this friend in high school. When we learned about solenoids in high school science, I had I had a little think, and I said, "Okay, what if?" What if we uh, use that to launch a projectile? And he said, oh yeah, I did that years ago. <laughs> and he showed me a, a schematic and everything. How are you feeling about K2SE? Uh, pretty good. Um, it's not just K2's fault or anything. I think it's more the version change. I'm not obviously liking how far certain quality of life things are behind research, um, but we're kind of past that point already. I mean, I don't think you should have to go to other planets to get requester chests manufactured. That is a bit silly. Um, I guess I'll follow this pattern. Just keep going towards whatever's closest. Now that friend is in Guantanamo. Uh, I don't... Hmm. I was gonna say, I don't know if he'd be silly enough to post that on a forum. But you never know. I never saw a schematic for this one, but he also told me a story about some kind of over-engineered whippersnapper of doom that his parents confiscated from him because it was too dangerous. There we go. Oh, another nest right here. Something of doom. <laughs> yes. I mean, that wasn't his name for it. That's just how I would describe it. It's the kind of thing that you could see as a weapon in a game like Painkiller. Try and keep the bots away from the snappers. There we go. More over here. SE.6 science changes aren't appealing to me at all. To finish my 0.5 run as soon as possible. Yeah, understandable. You do get a very finite number of green and blue chests. Uh, that you find in a couple of places, but it's it's not great. Like, there's nothing compelling. I, I don't see it as a challenge to, like, belt everything. Until you go to more surfaces. we go. How many... Oh, I've almost gone through half of my... We're definitely not going to have destroy capsules left as we finish off the rest of this. In which case, I should probably focus on the biggest nests and not get distracted by the ones that are closest. On average, if we stick near the edge of the map, uh, we're going to find the biggest nests. And I'm covering ground that I've already been over. That's 
definitely a bit suboptimal. I guess worst case I could send more destroy capsules. I didn't bring any poison capsules or anything either. I haven't got a whole lot of rockets. Uh, I have a decent amount of flamethrower fuel. And I could always use the Tesla gun as well, but that won't last too long. Coronal mass ejection headed for Nalvis orbit, 2 hours 47 minutes. Unless it's much bigger than previous ones, I think we'll be fine. Oh crap, I got bots killed again. I really need to try to overestimate the uh, snapper's hit points. Oh, snapper right out of the gate trying to bite my bots. Uh, let's go for that base. And after a few more nests, I might take a little break from murdering biters just to change the pace. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I wonder if Factorio 2 will be better than SE1? Probably can't really make a direct comparison. Well, maybe. No, no, no. Do not snappy my bodies. Bodies. Ow, 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 stupid spit. Uh, let's head over here. What is the purpose of these biters? Killing them seems so trivial, more like a grind than a challenge. Uh, in this case, not incorrect. Uh, we had a lot more threat on the starting planet. Especially with the mod that I had activated and until we had, a. Uh, UPS problems. But unfortunately, space exploration, uh, I don't think you can really disable the biters. Uh, at least not without cheats. Later on in the game, we can fully automate uh, killing the biters on an entire planet. Uh, but for now, with the tools that we've got, we need to put a little bit of work in. And it's probably not at all necessary to clear the entire planet, but there are definitely advantages to doing that. Oh, 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 oh. What happened here? Some of my bots got stuck. That's what it looked like, anyway. Really hope someone finds a way for mods to overwrite source code. Then we'll have some really good mods for Minecraft. Oh, like for Minecraft. Virus when? Uh-oh. Hmm. 
this one. Could you swap to the more followers research? Uh, I would run out of destroyer capsules faster as well if I did that. I don't know if... Um... Oh, we do. This would be plus, plus 10. Okay. And then... takes different sciences after this one. Plus five. Plus five and plus five. Hmm. Okay, I think uh, once these bots run out, we'll take a little break from this. Set up some defenses around our crash landing place just in case. Uh, we'll wait for energy weapon damage to finish and then do some robot follow account. Because I did not realize I'd be able to, what, uh, almost double my uh, follow account. More follower research is the dream of every YouTuber? Oh no. Also every cult member. Uh, cult leader, I should say. I guess cult members as well. Let's not leave them out. And there we go. It seems like the Bidenists up here are smaller. I wonder how much time we've got left on these bots. I'm hoping to get two more nests down. Okay, that's one at least. I know I left a spitter behind. I'm like two health. And now they're dropping. Uh, that's terrible timing. Let's use the Tesla. I'm actually surprised how weak it is. We got the spawners, though. I take it spiders are later game too? Yeah, we need at least bio one for that off the top of my head. If I recall, it might not be as far away as I thought, though. Oh wow, they are faster than expected. Where did that spitter go? We're just tickling it to death. I bugged the game by going into editor while sitting in a train. Uh-oh. Uh, I found a... I don't know if you'd call it a bug as such, but... Uh, pro tip, do not be riding a spaceship with auto clamping. If, uh, if you want to hop into the editor. At least, not when it arrives at its destination. Because the surface that it tries to send you back to has disappeared. So it basically just transports your character's body to the editor.
These things have far too many hit points. Oh, also, I think our batteries are dead. There we go. Okay. Editor is bad with any scripted surface changes. Had similar issues while trying to prep some blueprints in Warptorio 2. That makes sense. I mean, what can the editor mod do about it, though? Yeah, you can only send basic stuff in delivery cannons. Uh, let's see if we can find... Um... Hmm. I didn't actually... I don't think I can actually search for the cargo pods on the ground with factory search. Can I? Let's try cargo cargo pod entity. Yes, yes we can. Fantastic. Because it's something we can make, it's something we can search for. How far is it? Judging by how quickly the arrow moves left and right, uh, not that far. I take it back, this is further than I thought. I'm just going to fly straight down and see how quickly the arrow changes. Alright, we're getting there. There we go. Now then. How many solar panels would it take to support a laser turret, I wonder? 51 kilowatts? Versus like 100, right? Minimum consumption. So two of these during the daytime barely keeps this thing operational. Uh, let's go with... I didn't actually bring any walls either. Am I going to vomit stuff onto the ground if I switch to my thruster suit? I think I might. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did not want the bots trying to pick all that up. Uh, let's just make some storage chests and belts can go in here and inserters. I didn't bring any belts, actually, but we shouldn't need l a lot of them. Uh, let's see, we need robopots. We need power. Uh, I could stop marking these for deconstruction for the moment. That would probably help. Picket dollies this out of the way. Uh, and the soul is going to be nowhere near enough to catch up with the Roboport in short order.
but at least we have something. If the biters come a knocking. Unless it happens tonight. But I don't think they'll come here. We're not producing pollution or anything. Uh, but I don't, I just don't want like one biter to be able to simply chew through everything if it comes over here for some reason. Alright, that's actually charging pretty quickly, now that it's not night time. Let's get some construction bots and start picking up all of this crap. Uh, we might need a bit more storage, I'm not sure. Easier to just place it. Short nights on this planet? Yes, very short. Um, very short, very frequent. 4.74 minutes. That's actually not as bad as Granus, which is every two minutes. Uh, but yeah, we don't need a whole lot of accumulators. Alright, seems the lasers are not having any trouble charging. Let's get the rest of our construction bots onto the kits. Oh, wait, what? Don't show me the entities, show me the storage. Huh? What? What? I think that's right. Oh, is it? Does this not count as storage? Or wasn't I? Did I forget to pick up the extra construction bots? Because I think I didn't put them in the cargo rocket. I was just holding them myself. So I think we're stuck with just 50 construction bots here. Okay, it's just going to take them slightly longer to tidy this up. You definitely picked them up. Well, we don't have them. I did have a moment where I noticed it with chemical plants. Um, I forgot to turn off this auto trash above requests setting a while ago. Yeah, we've got a limit on construction bots that I'm carrying. That's why we don't have more. The bots taketh away, indeed. That is exactly what happened. Uh, I can help them by exploiting Piccadillies. Let's put all this stuff up close. Now it's not going to take them too long at all. Right. Energy weapon damage is actually at 80%. Let's do the follower robot counts next. I'm pretty sure we've still got prod science. Oh, that's a thousand though. I was going to say we have those lying around. Uh... A thousand is going to take a little while, and it's plus five for each type. 800 for plus 10, though, is pretty nice. Especially since it's only... Uh, it's only looking for space science packs. We've got 312 energy lying around, 200 prods, because I think I limited it to that. Only 14 space science packs, 70 utility. What happened in the update? Uh, the update of the uh, 
and logistic requests. We ended up with uh, a limit of exactly 50 construction bots without realizing. So we didn't bring a few hundred of them here. It's probably fine. Um, let's have a peek at our production stuff while we're waiting on that. Vulcanite. Oh, this always looks slow because we massively overbuilt it for the moment. Uh, looks like this is staying saturated. That's good. The machines are moving slow, so it's a little hard to tell, but it looks like this is all working consistently, giving us uh, about 5.6, 5.5 pyroflux per second, 0.7 enriched, 20 crushed, which uh, goes into making more enriched. It's actually like three enriched vulcanite, kind of. Oh, more like nine, if we discount the sulfur and stuff. How's our pyroflux build? Ooh, 110k. That means that every station that needs pyroflux has it. Uh, nice. Didn't expect it to happen that quickly. Or necessarily at all. Anytime soon. I... Ooh, I definitely don't want to vent Pyroflux. Um... Let me just check. This uh, priority here should be very high. It's just one above normal. Uh, I think I'll set that to 101. So our normal high priority uh, is 100. I'm going to set that above so that we don't end up venting pyroflux. particularly want to vent mineral water either unless we have to. Uh, where is the station? There it is. It picks up that heavy oil. Oh, crude oil. Yeah, I definitely should have bumped up the priorities on these. Uh... Not just above normal, but above the usual high priority output stations. Because we don't want to crush resources if we don't have to. Um, but yeah, we actually have tons of pyroflux now, which means we're only bottlenecking holmium plate and ingots on holmium itself. And we didn't have to go and use that other recipe. Uh, do we have enough holmium mines? I would say so. Holmanite, rather. Holmanite is... Where's the powder? I think we're bottlenecked on this now, actually. Yeah, I see all the inserters swinging constantly. Cool. Um, I think I should definitely redesign this block where we have the industrial furnace and casting machine uh, down the bottom here to the right. It looks like we have room for two more station outputs. Yeah, I think this uh, this block down here is totally unnecessary. It's way too fast compared to the other blocks. Uh, and we've got all this space that we're not using here. We only need a couple of furnaces, I think. Or a few furnaces to keep up with this. 
uh, and literally one machine to make Ormium ingots into plate. So we could have those two outputs on the right over here, I guess. Or maybe Holmium plate, Holmium ingot, and stone could be over here. 87% on energy weapon damage 5. I think I'll save it here. Just in case the biters get uh, unusually aggressive. And we'll take a little break. Let some time pass. Grab some food and hydrate. Don't forget to take that break, indeed. Yeah, we're a little overdue for that, actually. Alright. I need to remember to add a few more uh, radars so that we can see everything with um, LTN screensaver as well on the main base. Okay, so we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, one more and then we'll get back to it. All right. Oh, nicely done. Last second save. Fantastic. Let's continue with space exploration, shall we? We've got 98% on energy 5. That's kind of a tease. Uh, it needs 500, so we're not necessarily just about to get it. Um, but quite soon. 800 basic space science packs shouldn't take too long. Um, I think I would like to focus on production stuff until that's done. That number of different science packs is crazy, right? We've got 20, I believe, plus, yeah, 28. 28 possible science packs. Uh, this isn't even the last tier of uh, lab either. If we jump into the editor, I might be able to look at the singularity lab. I don't know if that's just... Yep. 34. I, I thought I was missing deep space. Uh, 34 different types of science pack <laughs> that can go into this. Although I don't think we'll actually be putting the basic tech cards in. But yeah, that is quite the thing. There's our research finished. So we now deal a bit more damage. Still costs the same amount of power. Actually, how much did it bump up? Uh, laser... Weapon damage. Energy weapon damage. Uh, it gave us another plus 40% of base. And that was number 5. So that's not insignificant. Follower robot count is... Probably going to be bottlenecked on exactly this machine. Um... Let's see, I, I think we're going to be saturated with cosmic water no matter what. Uh, let's get ourselves a module inserter. And I think we've got speed twos up here. We might have a couple spare. Yeah, they're on their way. So 
unless that's going to bottleneck on something else. It would take a while to bottleneck on the space transport belt regardless. Even if it did. Which it doesn't. Uh, but one machine is actually kind of slow with this. So we're looking at... 11 space science packs per minute. We've only got 11 stored. And we need 800, but more like 600 or something because productivity bonus of 36%. Uh, let's see, 136 over 100. That's not what I meant. 100 over 136. 0.74. Uh, we would need... Really? 800... Oh, it needs 0 0.74. 592. Uh, we're actually looking at the better part of an hour to finish this research. But it does bump up our robot follow account by 25%. That is not nothing. So I think, if possible, our time would be better spent uh, on production stuff. As we wait, because we don't have Bida expansion on. Uh, as we wait for our increased robot follow account. I do have a construction train on Hagen, so anything we can come up with we can actually build. This would probably be the perfect time actually to take our holmium. Where is a holmium? Oh, I put it under metals because it is a metal. Fair enough. Let's grab Holmium cables and put them in here. So we want to take this build that gives us the powder. Struggling with bugs uh, a little bit. Mine Mousecraft, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I do have it so that this fits under a beacon. Uh, a wide area beacon later on. Uh, so does this for that matter. And... If we want to be a... I, I say a little bit cheap, but it's actually 10 megawatt per wide area beacon. Uh, and it's not because it's wide area beacon 2. The regular ones cost exactly the same amount of power last I checked. Yep. So maybe I could... Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty handy. If I put that one about here. We can have a pretty comfy fit for the smelting. Uh, so, instead of this, going to here. We're just gonna have... How much? It's only uh, 10 holmium powder per second. But I think it's actually not that much because... 4 holmium chloride per second, and this consumes 5. So it's actually 8 per second. That might change with modules. The ratio, that is. Uh, but let's say that we need to consume 8 per second. If we go for Molten Holmium, which is what we want. Well, I'll have to do another fluid drop-off as well. But that won't be a problem. Any physical can double as a fluid. For the stations, that is. 2.66... Um, it's definitely... I was going to say it's definitely going to be four smelters, but three should actually theoretically keep up with this. 
but again, when we add prod modules in, it might change the equation. So I think I'll go for four, and I might move this pipe for water. And how much would this give us? 53 per second. I think we need two casters to potentially keep up with that. And it'll look good for the symmetry anyway. Alright, so casters are... where exactly? Here they are. Holmium ingot. Uh, this consumes 10 per second. I'd actually need like 5. Uh, 4 to be precise. I'm pretty sure we can't prod, your, uh, prod module this step. So four will definitely be enough. Uh, why don't we change the output stations a bit? Stone will go wherever is convenient. We'll get this out of the way. And... The shape of the beacons kind of wants me to put this over here. I don't really see that as a problem. Although one belt or the holmium powder might be good. You need sand for this build, so maybe it's net negative on stone. Uh, sand? Where do we need sand? It actually produces stone. I think you were probably thinking of the version that doesn't use molten uh, holmium. We're going to stick with the version that uses pyroflux only, if possible. Alright, so we'll need some express underneath -y. And this can go up here. Caster needs sand? Oh, I forgot about that. Good point. Yeah, it does. I doubt we're going to be able to consume all of the stone. But... Well, let's pretend we're not using rod modules. Uh, we can rate calc... Perfect ratio for those. That's not perfect ratio. Okay. 0.32 sand per second. And we're getting 2.15 stone per second. That's actually incredibly convenient. I'm glad you pointed that out. Uh, we could actually fit a... We need a crusher or something, don't we? We can't just make sand with these little assembly machines anymore. So we'll put a pulverizer here. It's actually a really convenient fit. Uh, stone into sand. And I think we'll have to output sand to the rail network regardless. Let's see. That is very positive on sand, even if, uh... Well, wait, that, that would be if we were getting six stone per second, which we're not. Uh, the amount of stone we're getting is 2.15. So, a bit over a third of 15 per second is still way more than we need over here. Oh. Um... This doesn't benefit from...
uh, from the beacon, does it? It does. Okay, that's convenient. Um, but I was thinking maybe we could have a very neat and convenient little layout over here. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe... Well, let's just figure out water after this, because that could be almost anywhere. Okay, almost anywhere might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's not going to be difficult. I could put this here, but it's going to look... Kind of odd. We need a pyroflux drop off. I already said that would be easy. Don't have to overthink where that's coming from. It's actually turning out to be a more interesting build than I thought it would. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion that we can fit what we're trying to add in here. But just laying it out nicely, I guess. Okay. Would it be easier? Oh, yeah. Maybe like this. But then the inserters don't fit. Maybe like this. Oh, I got it. Two point six six sand, uh, not sand. Uh, holmium powder per second. Uh, I could just use a stack inserter to be sure. I'm pretty sure a fast inserter is more than fast enough, though. Then again, is it not more UPS friendly? if the inserter swings less often. Pretty sure it takes more calculation to pick up all the individual bits off the belt, though. Who knows? Regardless, we are going to put our casting machines... It's actually too long. Hmm. Well, I could always... Damn it. I thought we had such a neat layout we could use. I mean, we can. It's just that it just barely doesn't fit under the beacon that we want to cover this side as well. Two tiles. Oh, what if, uh... What if the beacon was over here? Yes. Absolutely 100% yes. I'm loving the look of that. And I wouldn't have to change this bit of belt. Good morning, Con B. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Since we're already using this one for stone output, I guess... Oh, we're not going to be using this one anymore. Let me double check as well. Uh, does Holmium Powder... I'm guessing there's only two uses for it. And both of which are make holmium ingot. So unless we want to be able to fall back on the version that uses coal and sand. I think I did the math though. Um, 100 holmium powder per ingot. And this is... 250 molten per ingot, 
which is fit. It's twice as much Holmium ingot for the Holmium if we use the Pyroflux. And that's without considering productivity bonuses. Uh, which is actually the same because it's the same number of steps where we're able to use prod modules. Uh, but regardless, I really don't want to use that other recipe. You should be able to be in the trains. Emo, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so how about sand like so? And let's do that. Ingots like so. Well, not like that. Ingots like so. Really, I should put the outputs over here, but it feels weird having the, the primary product exiting on the outside. I think I'll just do what I did at that other block. So we're going to have uh, a probably just one assembly machine. Rate calc says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way less than one holmium ingot per second. So we just need the one assembly machine to break it down to plate. Uh, we can't productivity this. No need to worry about that. Doesn't need to be under the beacon either. We do want to prioritize... Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think this is totally unnecessary, but I would like the um, uh, the safety, if that makes sense. We're going to make sure that there's a store of stone in here. Whoops. To feed our... Wait, where is that getting power from? Oh, there's one here, which means we can put that where we like. No, it doesn't. Uh, so I want sand to fill up this chest. I mean stone, rather. Stone equals 2400. That is 48 times 50. Fantastic. And why not blue belt, actually? So we'll have holmium plate, holmium ingot, and stone. Or maybe sand. Yeah, let's, uh... Why don't we export the stone, the excess stone as sand? Actually, for a second there, I was going to say, that's not actually the worst idea. Except, can this consume all the stone? Yes, it can, easily. So we've just got an extra little sand production from this block. Well, past performance doesn't indicate future performance. Just because there's always something demanding sand these days doesn't mean we won't want this as stone. I think I'll output it as stone. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. 
goes there. Uh, we need a pickup station. High priority. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you never need Holmium ingots? We do, and we can transport them with much better stack efficiency. I'm going to output Holmium ingots to the rail network here and Holmium plate over here. So that's going to look a little bit like this. And I could do some kind of balancing. Or I could just make sure we've got a train load of Holmium ingots available before we turn it into before we turn some of it into plate. Look at that inserter sticking through. Um yeah. I'll just put that there. I could even make sure we have two train loads of ingots before we make plate, if I really want to. Uh, let's see. 80 times... is it 50? 4,000. Yeah. If Holmium ingot greater than... Let's say... 4,050 just to be sure. Start turning some of it into plate and send it over here. Can you say if the bulk rail loader are good for UPS? Um, not really. I mean, I've heard from MyClat that big containers can be bad, but on the other hand, instead of like potentially 24 inserters, uh, to load cargo wagons quickly. We've actually just got two entities here, so that might discount the offset, even if that's true. So I really don't know. Part of the reason that I went for the big, uh, for the bulk rail loaders is so that we don't have quite so many entities and circuits and stuff. Um, the loading and unloading trains. Robot Wars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is going to be Holmium Late Provider. This is going to be Holmium Ingot. Provider, high, pri high priority? I don't think so. Short trains permitted, and uh, this will be high priority pickup for stone. Mm, it doesn't quite line up perfectly. How about... Like this. And I'm just going to limit these to one cargo wagon each. We're not going to make that much stone. It's 2.15 per second, and that's before we make a little bit of it into sand. So that'll be fine. Uh, short trains permitted. Pri provide priority 100. Provide stack threshold 80. Stone. Active provider. Using train signal for balancing instead of your new method? Train signal? What do you mean by that? Oh, the T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I do remember actually. Why we found that to be a problem. Because depending on, like sometimes when there's a run on a resource, uh, it's possible. To end up having a train sitting here while the front doesn't get filled. Okay, so 40 stacks have to be present in the back before we push to the front. Uh, for plate, that is 4,000. And for ingot, that is half of that. Fantastic. Okay. And we will need a substation right about here. No, it's one off from powering this one. Ah. Uh, so close. Also, those inserters wouldn't be powered. Hmm. Pyroflux input, indeed. We can just put that here. Actually, why don't I do it like this? We're going to put the huge storage tank right here. That way the train can unload the Pyroflux as quickly as possible. Not that it needs to go very fast, but it's also a very convenient spot to connect this. Okay, that's not terribly convenient. How about this? That doesn't look too bad. I think that's quite good, actually. Uh, so the last puzzle to solve is where... Okay, that was easy. That is definitely about the neatest spot we could have put the uh, substation. You are allowing short trains for the stone, but there's no way to balance it, so it could get stuck. Oh, that's a good point. I think I'll just make it Long trains only for the stone. Oh, right. We were one off powering this. I forgot. That was why. That was the main reason why this sucks. Uh... That's not going to be powered if I don't put that back there. I guess we'll put this here. And I think that's it. Oh, water. I almost forgot. We need water to find its way from here back up to this container which is actually going to be very easy and pretty neat, actually. Can someone help me decide, would you rather have no water or little oil on a Vulcanite planet? Uh, well, I've got no water on a Vulcanite planet. And... For this stage of the game, definitely waterless would be better because we get the liquid rocket fuel done locally uh, and we just send water ice. Because we're on a cryonite planet, we've got unlimited cryonite. Missing pipe at tank. Thank you. 
Alright, let's test this thing. Uh, and I think I remember... Oh, let me check. I'm pretty sure I remember having to add a vent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this thing is actually net positive water, even though rate calc is a little tricky and tells us that it costs water. That just assumes that the electric boiler would be going full speed, which it's not even doing 5% of. So... Uh, I think we'll just copy what we already had. That way we won't have to mess with the existing builds as much. Now it's not powered. Uh, I think I remember... We had to, like, move this one substation up a tile. So there goes our theory of everything was almost perfect. With the layout of the substations, anyway. Alright, let's get some test inputs. Um, I thought I was setting water to 50%. Well, that'll be close enough. Uh, we also require nitric acid. And hormonite. Oh, right. This will put the hormonite into the container. Uh, how about this? And which fluid is this? Hydrogen chloride. Also plastic and crinite rod. Which is why we had those long, superior long inserters that we forgot to remove once. So plastic and crinite rod. Fantastic. One of your better city blocks? Thank you. Unused underground south of the water tank. Underground pipe or belt? South of the what? Underground pipe. It's not used. Oh, this one. The one we were using before. Yep. So, GMO. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops, so we're not going to output stone until we've got a whole chest of it here, just to be extra safe. Um, we're going to drop off Pyroflux from here, which... I think I'll just keep the purple color. Like, green is what I would normally use to represent. This is both a pickup and a drop-off. But the thing I want to know first is that it's an urgent pickup for stone, I guess, if I glance at it. Request threshold 50k. Uh, and we need hyroflux. And come to think of it, if we get short on Pyroflux, um, I definitely want plenty of it stored here. Let's just say 200k. Because 
because I don't want to stop getting Holmanite quickly if uh, if something happens to our Vulcanite, for example. We need copper over here as well at this sneaky little station that I forgot about. Uh, let's go with... Where is... There we go. Copper plate. And then we have table. And then we have powder. And then we need pyroflux. And then we have molten pi uh, molten holmium rather. Don't forget to wire up the tank of Pyroflux to the station. Good call. Uh, let's name the station... Also Pyroflux Requester. Actually, that... Considering my naming convention... Uh... I think I should do this instead. Alright, there's our ingots. Or oh, there will be in a second. Fantastic. I forgot how long the how long it takes to make these ingots. Uh, and I don't think we particularly need to. Well, we can easily test it like so. Holmium ingot. Twenty-two point five per second. About even faster. So once there's a cargo wagon in the back, it'll push to the front. Once there's two cargo wagons full, plus a tiny bit more, we'll start making plate. Which is actually, even with a full belt, uh, going to take its sweet time. How's our research coming along? Ooh, 63% on follower robot count 5. So these, what, 42 times 5. 210. Uh, five, 5 and a bit times we can take a full load of bots out. With what we've still got. But it won't take as long to clear each biter nest. As it was before. We've got damage up and bot count up. Alright, so... Hurry up with the Holmium ingots. In fact, just, just, just give me some more ingots. There we go. So once that fills up, we should see we start... Oh! Wait, what? Did I miss something? Or was this just faster than I thought it was? Just trash those. So it should stop as soon as it drops down to 4,050. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the red on the inserter. Seems good. Do you use the same stations and signals in space? And do you need space scaffolding to put them on? Uh, you don't need space scaffolding for signals and space rail. 
Uh, but you do need it for, like, the stations themselves, for example. And yes, we will be using the same rail box in space. Uh, it's actually the space elevator is the reason that I decided to start using Snap to Grid Absolute. Because when we make an elevator, um, an elevator is going to appear in orbit at the exact coordinates that we place it on the ground, or vice versa. Uh, so... Now I can't remember which way I had it. Uh, so that's why we're doing these. That's one reason we're doing these blocks. But that said, I don't think I'll ever look back again from using Snap to Grid Absolute for the rail blocks. Alright, let's update our Holmium build. It's actually a new blueprint. I just won't delete the old one. A Holmium ingot plus Holmium plate. Or maybe the other way around. Uh, I feel like I didn't do the train stop names. Let's see. Tommy and plate provider, that's all good. Holmium ingot provider is also good. I definitely did this station. And these ones haven't changed at all. So I think we're fine, actually. Snap to grid 86. 25 and 1. Absolute. Remove the cheat items. Uh, I think I already got rid of the long arm inserters. And I believe that is our build. Is chlorine tank connected? I believe it is. Good position is wrong. Didn't I say 25? There we go. Chlorine tank is in fact not connected. Good call. Unfortunately, that means I have to do the whole blueprint process again. Because rail, bulk rail loaders be like that. Okay, snap to grid 86, 25, and 1. Rain stop names. Chromium plate and ingot. I think I called it ingot and plate last time. Why is there a single blue assembly machine? Oh, it's over here. That's probably fine. I can run an upgrade planner on it if I wanted to change it. That would be easier. That definitely changed to 24. I'm sure I put 25 in first. Bruh. Okay, there's our design. Snap Absolute makes building so much easier. You don't have to risk uh, messing up the entire base. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of a job to patch the existing ones, but not too bad, honestly. Oh, but we've got this. We'll do that when we get back. Then again, aren't we already bottlenecking on... Um, how about... How about we mark that for deconstruction? And... Set this... Provide threshold to 1. 
get a train to come take this stuff away. Same thing over here. And then we need to remove those water pipes. Well, I guess that one's probably going to stay, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, and we need to get rid of the Holmium powder as well. Now we should almost be ready to bring in our construction train. I might even be able to... I, I doubt it, but I might be able to get all of this done with one parking spot. The train's not going to get everything it's looking for, is it? There we go. Oh, there's still a bit left. God damn it. That's actually a problem because... I can't be leaving that stuff in there. Pick this up. Get rid of that as well. Uh, the stone is a problem. Can we please get a train to pick this up as soon as possible? You need to disconnect red wire anyway. True. that. Train actually arrived. Fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, no, don't deconstruct that because I'm sure it's going to do something weird when we try to replace Good timing. And it's gone. And we have another small amount of stone left over because that LTN didn't know we had it because it was on the belts and in the fast loaders. Okay. That should be almost everything. So we can just paste this here, I hope. Sick and tired of the damn sweeper car. Oh, wow. The really, really loud straight washing machine. We don't have casting machines on us. Um... can probably make room for it in the train down here. Casting machine, one step. And request it from the mall. And did we get everything else done? I didn't copy-paste some of the wires interacting with the bulk rail loaders. 
But other than that... Oh, we've already got Pyroflux on the way. Wait, how... How do we have five trains interacting with... Oh, we've got two of these stations, that's why. That's fine. Uh, and then we can actually get rid of this station. But I'll, I'll drain the Pyroflux before I do that. There's a bit of Molten Holmium that's going to go to waste as well. Uh, I hate that. Not a fan of that at all. Um, but for now, let's just switch off those two input stations. Alright, construction train, head back. It's coming back into hearing range. Oh no. I could set this up so that it actually sends a green signal to the train to tell it to leave. Um, and I could change the train schedule to listen for a green signal or not instead of this impossible condition. So sometimes I automate it so that it so that it'll automatically go back once it's ready. Do we have the casters? Not yet. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear it such so AMO. Maybe someone called in a favor to have it spend as much time around your house as possible. Or your next door neighbors. It'll go back to empty, then repeat. Yeah, I would have to change it so that, like... I would either change the circuit condition to be something different. Um, if I do or don't want it to leave the station. Which is probably the way to go, to be honest. I don't know what I was going to follow up with saying or... Uh, do we not have casters automated? We do not have casters automated. Wait, we do have casters automated. Casting machine. We have 185 right here. I think it's because this guy's in the way. But it hasn't even scheduled bringing the casting machines down here yet. Alright, how's our research? 88% on follower robot count. Fantastic. It's all just bits of rail. I think I've asked this question before, but is rail not used in science anymore? It's not. Which makes building it in the rail network kind of hard to justify, but on the other hand, uh, it would mean we'd stop getting these trains looking for rail all the time. Perhaps. Alright, train is not ready to go because it doesn't have casters, because that's why we're looking over here. Casting machines. Um, it's going to take its sweet time before it schedules a pickup for casting machines. Which means our holmium is just completely stopped until then. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I 
guess one thing I could do is stop telling it that there's anything but casting machines available here. There, that's it. We've got 50 casting machines and nothing else. Fantastic. Alright, so that'll get done. Follower robot count is nearing. Steel casters from the old Holmium. Uh, so I would have to drive the train up to the old Holmium, pick it up, and then drive it straight over here. That's not the worst idea, actually. Except I was hoping to see if... Hmm. It works with deconstruction, right? That it pushes fluids into nearby containers? Okay, I'm actually really curious now. I don't want to wait until I get back there. Uh, train, go over here, wait for inactivity. And then go over here and wait for inactivity. Don't tell me you're already there. Okay, cool. So we've got 218 molten in each of these. Oh, it did push it across. Okay. Wait, why is it dropping... Oh, because we actually consumed some. That's why. Wait. Did we... Uh, I don't know. I think we need like eight, right? Uh, if we consume them in the right order, uh, pick them up in the right order, we should avoid wasting any... Molten Holmium, and we can hopefully get almost all of it used up. So what did I get? 12. I think we need 8. Yeah, we need 8. Fantastic. Alright, that's our Holmium ingots online again. You can go back. In this version of SpaceX, can you still make steel plates from iron plates? Uh, I think so, yeah. There's, there's like a more basic version of iron and steel um, that's not as efficient. Let's see, steel plate. You can make it from iron plate plus coke. That's how you get started. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are at 97% for our research before we go greet the biters again. So we can make the most of the one stack of destroyer capsules that I foolishly brought over. Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Moving to another country tomorrow. Interesting, indeed. Where are you moving to? Right, so that means we don't have to transport uh, Holmium powder by train at all anymore. Construction train is ready to go. I can't remember where the other builds were that... Why Pyroflux? Do 
doop ba doop Speaking of Pyroflux, yeah, it's actually... I think it's been doing quite well. Oh, and that's our robot follow account. It's going to take its sweet time ranking up with the other researchers. I don't know if I'll bother at this point. Then again... Well, worker robot speed would be nice. Let's knock that off. Ooh, and what was that? Tesla gun. We can already unlock Tesla gun. Nice. Okay, so this being this ammo being finite is actually uh the end of that is in sight. All right, let's go try out our 25% more robot and probably about that much more 10 or 20% more laser damage as well from South Africa to Ireland seems good one two three four five six seven eight Times five. Oh, that is very much crossing a threshold, an unstable equilibrium for DPS against the amount of health that we're trying to chew through. That's huge. That is actually so much more effective than I thought it would be. Uh, I should probably put my power armor on, though. Let's hurry up and hit as many nests as we can. Like this one that I didn't spot until now. Those lasers are beast, right? Compared to what they were just a couple of researches ago. Bear in mind we've got 25% more follower robots. It was 25% more follower robots and plus 40% base laser damage. Uh, but it was research number 5, so it's more like plus, I don't know, 7% or something. Robots go burnt? They do indeed. Maybe I should put... Uh, yeah, maybe I should put more thrusters on. And less shielding. And maybe less personal laser. Uh, so that we can make the most of the robot lifespan. My personal laser is really not doing anything now. But that was kind of true before. I'm also a little bit of a glass cannon. So I'll have to watch out. We go to the next one. Oh, didn't quite kill that. This one laser is doing basically nothing. Uh, let's go shield. So we're relying entirely on our robots for DPS right now. Have a war suit that is the next tier of power armor. Ten by ten gives far more options. Uh, we don't have that research yet, though. That's the end of our bots for now. I think I can clear everything with the capsules that I've got left, but we're going to try.
I should probably start spending Tesla ammo as well. Since we know we're going to be able to resupply. Let me move. Holy crap. Spit is overpowered. Uh, we know we're going to be able to resupply Tesla ammo in the fairly near future. Spawners. Oh my god, the hit points on these worms, though. Okay. On to the next one. I forgot how slow health regeneration is with this mod. Um, I didn't actually bring any health packs, so we're just going to have to be careful. Maybe I should put another shield on. Are those bots in vanilla? They are, actually. They are destroyer capsules. You actually get five of them every time you deploy one. Make sure we don't go straight into the enemy base. Don't forget the name in base that was redeemed. I won't. I've got the, uh, I've got that window up actually. I've been meaning to double check that I got all of those. I think I I think there's one at least that I still need to physically do. Defenders are stationary? Oh, the distractor capsules, yeah. Oh no, Defender Capsules are like this, but they use bullets. They're actually really, really good if you get them, like, soon after they're available. Let me put it this way. Um, I've sung the praises of Cactus Armor in Terraria. Uh, defenders are the Cactus Armor of... Space, uh, not space exploration, but I mean, that's not false. Uh, vanilla um, Factorio. When you can first get Defender Capsules and get them as quick as you can, uh, they're actually OP. One of them is stationary, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the first tier. Yeah, it's the second tier, it's called a distractor capsule. Um, I don't really use those. I'm having trouble safely getting in range. There we go. Unlock off these small bases and do the name and base once the bots run out. Look how quickly they melt one of those uh, tanky biters. This might actually be enough to get into the uh, pyramid now. In fact, I'm sure it is. Um... 
nearest base is this way. I think I want to try out the tank, the real one, once I get it. Oh, is in the uh, the Crastorio giant tank thing. Time for pyramid scheme? Always. Okay. Uh, let's put on our combat gear a bit better, just in case. And we'll do the... I actually feel kind of nervous standing here. Let's not... Let's not have to remind ourselves that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer after dying. Instead, I'll park myself on some water. Which is surprisingly far away, actually. I could have gone to the... Well, that's far away as well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Remind and yourself that killer. Overconfidence is a slow Indeed. And killer. All right, this should be safe. Oh, I should probably look into making some health kits while I'm here. We need wood. I don't think there is any. Oh, there Remind is. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No, I don't think there's any wood Remind on this that planet. Is a slow and insidious killer. And here, I almost packed some, uh, some greenhouses so that we could make it. Whoops. But yeah, it looks like we won't be able to make med kits at all. Remind While yourself we're here. that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is cool and fun. Bar Annie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's have a peek at that name and base. Uh, Tragedy, I think I did. There it is. Look that off. Uh, Veldak asked for Robot Wars 1. Uh, Robot Wars 2 from Con B. Uh, Robot Wars again. <laughs> okay. Taxi train. I think this was the one where I said, yeah, Dilka, I I'm drawing the line somewhere around here. Name in base means name in base. What is Bonnie? B-O-N-I. Is Bonnie like a French word or something? Well, that's one definition. Okay, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to mean anything nasty, so I'll I'll take your word for that. I'll take one too, indeed. I'm new to Factorio saving space exploration for later. Uh I would definitely agree that makes sense. If you're going to go into space exploration when you're not, when you don't feel like you've more or less mastered Factorio, uh, you are a brave person, I would say. Oh, TC Bonnie, that was the name. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bonnie. And go here. Uh, Robot Wars again. <laughs> and Fat Boy Not So Slim. Whoops. Where are we going to put Fat Boy? Uh, I might have to start... Hmm, that's actually kind of tricky. Uh, I might put Fat Boy down here. And then we've got Slip Second. Slip Sec.
Uh, start another one over here. Boovin. Whoops. And El Pancho. Since when it was since when is it so cheap? Uh since I noticed not that many people have been redeeming it. And I saw the price of it and I thought I don't remember making it that expensive. It was probably from when I didn't have that many channel point rewards and a lot of people had saved up a lot of points. Should make it 50k? Good grief. I think that would be a bit much. Uh, how's that? Or should it have the two at the end as well? Wait, what? Did I overwrite the zero? Okay. Loaded space exploration up and saw a bunch of laser beams burning the ground. What a warm welcome. Once you go to space exploration, would you ever go back to vanilla? Kind of like how Fracken Universe changed Starbound. Uh, I never played Fracken Universe. Uh, I, I finished... I stopped playing Starbound before that was a thing, I think. Kartoffelapend, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I got scammed. Should have put my name and base in the planet. In oh, in the new planet. Uh, well, we haven't we haven't claimed this planet yet, so we'll see. It's actually not taking as long as I thought for health to regenerate. It does keep the health, yeah, through... It does keep the state of the health through flicking through those surfaces. Name on Granis 2, please. Alright, uh, let me... Alright, just quickly. Uh, ooh, bim. That's... That's not what we're looking for. Move in. There we go. Alright, back to the biters. We've still got ooh, only 18. That's like two and a half more times we can use our capsules at full strength. So I'll definitely lend them some Tesla as well, because we want to make the most of this time. Where's that nest? We should get most of the planet cleared by that time though. More jetpack would be better, I think. Let's get rid of the batteries. Or maybe that. Fantastic. Next one. Perfect. Oh, radiation. Oh no, no, bad. I'm definitely glad I didn't run around without a shield. That's a lot of worm. And... 
the way we go. Almost missed this one. Oh, that was actually really good. The way we swung the plots around. I think there's still a biter up here. Nope, it followed us. No, don't die! Ah, oh. One of them got one shot. This might actually be enough to clear the planet. If we hurry. I keep forgetting I have the uh, Tesla gun. That we'll be able to resupply soon. And my bots just got clapped. That's actually really unfortunate. Would you die please? There we go. Stop attacking the rock. Alright, we've actually... Yeah, we've got like mostly this area left to clear. But it remains to be seen how quickly I can do that once I run out. Clearing the biters for UPS? Uh, no, it's a relatively small planet. And I just don't want to have to defend against them. But yes, that as well. I mean, that always that sort of goes without saying. Oh my god, let me move. Please nerf spit. What's K2? Crastorio 2. What does UPS stand for? Uh, frame rate, basically. Units per second. Uh, frame rate doesn't itself doesn't tend to be much of an issue in Factorio. It doesn't take much of a graphics card on a modern system uh, to keep up with rendering the scene, but uh, eventually you keep building and building and building. Uh, your computer's not going to be able to run the simulation as fast as normal speed. So that FPS slash UPS is actually... 60 means it's running at normal speed. Um, so yeah, having lots and lots and lots and lots of biters milling about uh, can actually be really bad for the performance when things scale up. So that is one reason to clear them. You're welcome. Bots really don't have many hit points, because the snappers actually don't hit me that hard. Oh, and they're gone. Alright, this is our last set of bots. Let's make the most of it. I had lower FPS only when I played with high-res textures. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. Alright, away we go. In a few minutes, we won't have any more Defender Capsules. So let's try not to get them killed early. We 
those nests are a bit chunky. If I see small enough ones, I'll leave it for myself to clear without the bots later. Unless we can just kill it with a drive-by. I really wish I'd just brought two stacks of defenders, but I don't think we even automated them on Hagen. And I wasn't going to take the time to do it there. I'm a little conflicted about whether I should fly up for that nest, but it's really small. I'll just have to go get it afterwards. Where's our nearest? Here we go. I don't want to leave any random biters alive either because I think a single biter walking around will prevent uh, us from being able to declare the planet biter free. Which means we'll be able to trim the surface and save on save file size and not have the biters reappear. And we go. Definitely lost one there. I don't think I've got everything I need to handcraft, well, hand or not, I don't think I've got everything I need to make more defenders here. And that's the end of them. Uh, let's see, defender capsules, I mean destroyers, speed module 1, which means solid fuel, advanced circuit, which means oil, yeah. It would be easier to send some over. Um, I wish I brought more than, more than two lasers. Missed one by the top right? Oh no. What are you getting off this planet? Uh, Iridite is the main thing. This is the only planet in our solar system with iridite core fragments and that'll be the next uh, exotic resource that we get mm, the dps on these lasers isn't that bad, as long as we're not facing the biggest of worms. How much fuel do I have left? Oh, oh, less than I thought. 17. Uh, I think there's some in the... Uh, there's some that came by cargo rocket as well. 174. Oh, we've actually got way more Tesla ammo than I thought. And it does more damage than before as well. That definitely helps. I do have to consume fuel to outrun those things, though. nothing but worms. Oh, 
Why are they so tanky? That actually cost less ammo than I thought it would. Are there new kinds of biters? There were, at the start of the playthrough. Uh, we were using the Rampant mod, which makes... Uh, it, it adds a lot of varieties of biter that are better or worse at various things, like attacking you or your base. Um, or just being hard to remove as well. Um, but unfortunately, after a while... It tanked the UPS, and it tanked it really dramatically, because our, our frame rate our, literally went from 60 to like 20 in less than a minute, um, when it decided to send all of the biters, I guess. Ow, holy crap. Um, that hurt. I saw a scorpion crab looking biter. Yeah, I think we also have um, armored biters, which doesn't impact UPS at all. Well, it, it probably impacts it an unfathomably small amount. We have approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Probably like twenty nests that we know of left to clear. We've got actually quite a lot of Tesla gun ammo. A media just tried to land off-planet. Good job, media. It could theoretically land on my stuff over here, but I think the odds of that are low enough to just not worry about. Tesla gun goes that. That's all the spawners. Actually, I should use the flamers on these guys. You can get a defender rocket from Nalvis. Uh, that's true. <laughs> a whole rocket full of defenders. <laughs> or destroyer capsules, rather. I would like to try and think of some other stuff to send to justify sending a whole cargo rocket. But yeah, we could do that. Dance all day. should be a bit easier. Who needs justification? How big is your save file? Mine's now at 300 meg. Uh, last playthrough it got to considerably more than half a gig, but part of the reason for that was it was before they added the feature where... Oh, hold on. Uh, it was before they added the feature... Are you immune to fire or something? 
Good gravy. Look at those hit points. Okay. Uh, so there's a feature... Probably shouldn't stand next to the biters while I show this off. Where once you've gotten rid of the biters on a planet, you can click this Confirm Hostile Extinction. If there are zero biters left on the planet, it'll drop the biter threat down to 0%. Unless it's a planet that has biter meteors coming in, in which case it'll say 1%, but it's basically the same thing. And... Uh, basically, that means what won't happen is what happened to me, whereby you clear an area out and then you say trim surface because you want to keep save file slash UPS not so bad. Uh, and it'll trim the explored area down to the minimum-ish, depending on uh, the buildings that you've got lying around. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't confirm hostile extinction first, the biters will come back in the areas that you make unexplored. So, last playthrough, until they added that feature, um, we had a lot of planets that were completely scanned, like this planet is right now. Where, if you look at the map, you can see the entire planet. Um, that makes for a really big save file. You misspelled nuclear artillery. K2 nerfs laser turrets and buffs, buffs ammo-based weapons. Interesting. Does it nerf the actual damage, or is it just the power cost? Actually, at less than 50% health, I'd better be careful. The damage, okay. But it does add bigger and better laser turrets as well. It actually gives you laser artillery. It costs an insane amount of power, but... Uh, and it doesn't have the same range, but it is still... Long-range lasers, nonetheless. I'd better go back for fuel. Uh, stop oppressing me. There you go. I should probably get those worms. Uh, we're on six fuel, though. Um, it's possible we're already going to have a walk of shame. Unless... I can actually make fuel processes, so we should be fine. As long as we can get coal out of some of these stones. Which we can. Okay. I'm not as worried now. Just don't run out of fuel while we're fighting something. I think our batteries have run out. Oh my goodness. Stop it. not actually dying. There you go. You've come to back anyway? Wait, what? Sniper personal defense is nice. Yes. Yes, it is. In fact, I kind of regret not bringing one now that I think of it. 
Uh, I don't suppose I can make one. I would need electronic components, which I definitely should have sent in the rocket. Because that's exactly the type of thing that... Um, the type of prerequisite item that makes handcrafting a bunch of stuff a lot easier. Add it to your next rocket? Yeah. Let's get some more coal. Actually, let's use our... I don't have any construction robots. They're all at the base. That's already half a stack of fuel, though. We just doubled our fuel. More than that. Oh, is over here. Oh, don't convert. Actually, it probably makes just as much sense to convert the solid rocket fuel. It'll just save a stack. Alright. What are we doing in the meantime? Besides polluting. Oh, you can see where I've been using my jetpack a little bit. Worker robot speed 5 is chugging along slowly. I guess I'm fine with that. I could have put this time towards follower robot count, but worker robot speed, it is nice quality of life. Oh, we actually have more than a stack. Even better. Actually takes a minute to go through that solid rocket fuel. Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is actually significantly slower than I thought it would be. We're close, but not that close to clearing the planet. Alright. Gimme. 1.5 stacks of fuel. Not so bad. Let's mark that there so we can see how much fuel we've... Oh, we've already got it up here. Okay. How's my battery charge? It's full. Should think so. Let me get a little test. Let me give, get a little sample of how much, how far that battery charge goes. This is perfect, actually, the behemoth snapper. It doesn't take as long to kill it with just lasers as I would have thought. And I'll clear this little nest as well. Another behemoth snapper. God damn it. I think our batteries are dead already. Right? I thought I saw the laser flickering. Oh. 4.8. No, we should be... Our battery should be draining... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The electricity in the personal submachine laser defenses is going down. Oh, so they have an internal charge that's actually quite a bit. Okay. 
Well, that makes it harder to gauge how much uh, storage our batteries have. Because we didn't even dip into them. Uh, let me move. Holy crap. Oh, no thank you. I thought I had the Tesla gun ready. Doesn't the reactor generate more power than the lasers can consume? The reactors generate 2.4 megawatts. This consumes 3.4 megawatts. Uh, and the batteries can output maximum 1 megawatt at a time. So you would think... This would be immediately draining, but apparently it drains the charge of the personal lasers first? I don't get it. We're already down like 40 processed fuel. Okay, don't die, don't die. That was closer than I would have liked, because I wasn't quite paying attention to what was next to me. Maybe I should research flamethrower damage. charge look like now. It still hasn't dropped. Huh. Maybe I could have got away with more lasers. Doing swell except going back to work after a week off. That doesn't sound swell. Uh, why being so cheap? Just send that rocket over with new capsules. Takes way longer now. We don't have that much left to clear. And then we'll have like a whole rocket of stuff sitting around for no reason. Then again, if I'm not even using the stuff from Nalvis anyway. I could just use more Tesla. towards the main base. Well, the only base on this planet. Assuming satellites can scan the planet instead of radars? Uh, yes. You can just uh, click on the planet in the solar system view and click scan planet. It'll reveal the whole thing eventually. As soon as you've got the navigation satellite. Definitely glad I brought all that extra rocket fuel. I just wish I'd brought two stacks of def 
uh, destroy capsules. It's in the game, it's totally fair, don't worry about it. Oh, let me move. Jeez. They actually just sit out of range if you... if you do this. The regen speed is surprisingly fast. For the regular biters. You okay there, buddy? Okay. Uh, and then... This way? Oh, that's a lot of coal. So, pretty much just straight northwest. Did you pack some first aid kits? I did not. You know, he, he looked like he'd given up. Alright, let's, uh, let's refuel. And maybe I'll do some design work. While health regenerates. Thought there was a... Yeah, there's a tiny biter nest down there. I'm not going to bother with it just yet. I should really get some uh, exoskeleton legs so I don't have to burn fuel to do this. But then... For this stage of the game, they take up so much space in the inventory for the same kind of speed. Oh, Nalvis is about to get beamed? ETA 20... Oh, that's 20 minutes. I thought it said 20 seconds. Let's park ourselves over here before we look around. Uh, 1.87, 2.28 gigawatts. This is nothing we haven't dealt with before. No first aid kits? You'd, you'd never make a Boy Scout? Yeah. And after I spent that much time thinking about the shopping list for this place as well. Alright, give to me some solid rocket fuel. See if we play. That's a lot. I'll take it all. And uh, let's look in on our factory while our health slowly regenerates. How's Vulcanite doing? As always, bottlenecked on the enriched for this block. Bottlenecked on crushed. Crushed is here. Well, it's all still flowing. Wait, why? Oh, because these are separated. I was going to say, why is this not reaching the end of the belt? But this is. I think we've got more than enough to consume all of the Vulcanite core fragments we're producing. Yes, we do. Perfect. That is where I would prefer to bottleneck uh, when it comes to core fragments. Once you get, like, two portable lasers and a high laser damage, it's GG for biters. Uh, we do have two portable lasers, but, um, it's not quite enough yet. Not really. I, I almost built a, a personal sniper laser defense before I came, and I really wish I did. 
It's got 30 range as, as opposed to 15. It's double. I thought it would be like 50% more. Um, the damage per energy is a lot worse, but wow. And the DPS as well, but that's okay. The actual energy consumption is less. So it would be easier to support the same number of lasers at the sacrifice of DPS, but we gain range. We double our range. Mm. I think we've probably got enough power to support going sniper lasers from now on. And eventually we'll have a mix. Chuck them in your reload rocket? I don't know if I can... Well, I should be able to make them from Nalvis, now that you mention it. Uh, let's see. We're still trying to make... Biolabs? Really? How many do we have? We've got 39. Well, it's little surprise considering how agonizingly slow biomass gets made. Um, let's just drop the request a little bit. And I would like some sniper laser. Where is it? Personal slipe, sn sliper? Personal Sniper Laser Defense. When do we get the next tier? Personal Laser Defense Mark II. We could already do that, actually. I could have... Oh. I could have come out here with the next tier of Personal Laser Defenses. That stings a little bit. And we even half researched it. Oh, no. Uh, well, for the moment, let's add this to our request over here. Disregard, get the snipers? Wait, what? Can you launch intraplanetary nuclear warheads with this mod? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Uh, what's your... Destroy ca Wait, this is the wrong spot. We already have the destroy capsules. We've got 673 in storage. Get the personal laser snipers, ignore personal defense 2. Well, it's actually the same research. Um, personal laser defense mark 2 gives us both uh, tier 2, the SMG, and the sniper. But yeah, it's literally just utility science pack. I could have unlocked this ages ago. Um, okay, so we were going to see if our autocrafter has what it needs. It's already trying to make destroyer capsules instead. Get them all in, indeed. Uh, so what does it take to make this? LDS glass laser turret electronic components, that's actually no problem at all. And uh, I could send a bunch of belts and inserters while we're at it. Uh, 
sure it's not necessary. Uh, robots would be good. Construction bots. Um, I think we brought enough roboports. What else? Probably rail. I see. I foresee running out of rail. The bots aren't going to be too fast loading this stuff though, because there's only 50 Logi bots, and it's kind of far away. What's that zappy sound? There it is again. What? It doesn't seem to be the robots recharging, but I don't know what else it could be. If I sit here and watch, we don't hear it, but if I move around, that's weird. Um, apparently we already have... Yeah, we do have personal snipers here. Or did it already craft them while I wasn't watching? Sneaky. Uh, where did we have the request for the... Destroyer capsules. Or did I did I actually right click them? That doesn't sound right. No, I I just might have right clicked them. Hmm. Okay. It's going to take the bots their sweet time to fill this out. Loaders too? Um, good point. Uh, I've got a stack of red and blue. I think we'll be okay for loaders. Uh, once again, I want to build mostly the bare minimum. Then again, to get the Immersite, we're going to have to make a lot of stations. Yeah, we can cram some loaders in. Make it... a hundred. How do you show FPS slash UPS? If you press F4, uh, it'll give you some options for showing things either all the time or only when you bring up debug. And it's the very first option. Electronic parts. Uh, components, yes. Electronic components. You're welcome. Synthocrat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Health has regenerated a little bit. Alright, how's Nalvis? Uh, not Nalvis. New Nalvis. Better Nalvis. That's not bad, actually. That many ingots. I guess I could make another block or two. A Holmium. Oh, we've got a whole ore fragment uh, core mine that we're not exploiting as well right here. I guess we can definitely spare the power for that. And we'll get a little bit of everything infinitely. Uh, we've already got enough pulverizers that another mine would help. So, is this one, is this train okay? Oh, this, this again. How about you get going? And I still haven't come up with a good way. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing if these two miners, because their coverage is already overlapped anyway. So like, 
if I push to this side only if stone greater than some amount, and do the same thing on the other side. Then they'll rebalance. This will get blocked sometimes. But that's probably fine. Not that this particular mine that's actually empty will get fixed by that, but... Just thinking for future reference. Okay, while that rocket is loading, uh, let's say hello to a couple more biter nests. We really don't have that many more left. The nastiest ones are over here. A couple of nasty ones here. And the rest are small fry. Oh, and apparently I have more rockets that are not loaded here for some reason. Okay. Away we go. actually a biter nest directly to the south, I think. Further than I thought. There it is. No doubt there's going to be a nest or two that we're having trouble seeing. gonna be fun looking for that. I really wish, uh, unless I'm missing something, I, I wish Factorio, uh, Factory Search would find biters for us. could search for biomatter entity. Uh, there's no... There's no biomatter on the ground on this planet. Pretty sure. Biomatter entity. All surfaces. It does... It actually doesn't find it. Huh. So you probably have to search something else if it'll even let you. I thought that would find it on Nalvis. Yeah, uh, search big worm entity would be very helpful. Ground biomatter? Well, I don't think the entities that we're looking for are available uh, in this set of tabs. Recipe biomatter from crafting combinator recipes. Yeah. It doesn't have it. Oh, there's a little nest down here. Would have been easy to miss. Maybe I should drop the batteries till we see the bigger nests. since the charge that the lasers themselves hold on to is actually uh, quite a bit. Yeah, they didn't get down to half charge. Does stacking jetpacks make you fly faster? Yes. Uh, if you look... Oh. It used to show text down here. Oops. 
Well, I can see... Yeah, like this. Jetpack acceleration. It tells you how much you've got. Uh, and that affects your top speed as well, even though it doesn't say so. But for some reason, as I'm swapping them out right now, it's not showing it. I'm pretty sure it used to just show you that line of text every single time uh, that you swapped out a jetpack or not. Okay, that doesn't look that nasty actually. Let me move though, thank you. Oh, I forgot. I can't fly off the edge like that. I like how uh, oddly neatly carved the edge of the map is here. Ouch. No more biters over this way, it seems. That's a tiny base up there. Where are we exactly? Uh, it's actually to the left. Oh, there's a few little ones over to the left as well. It shows only if you fly. When you clear the whole map, they don't spawn again. Uh, this is correct, yes. But um, if you're going to trim the surface, make sure you confirm hostile extinction first. Otherwise, the, the part of the map that goes black... If you explore it again, or even if you don't at a certain range, they will come back. Okay, so... Straight up to the... There's one here. Looking for the oil patch. Right up this way. This will be the last planet that we have to clear this way. If we're patient enough spending erudite. Frontal ejection headed for Nalvis. Let's see our power. Where's the umbrella? Oh, is it not on its own... Is it on its own power network? I think it is. We've got way more steam than we need. This would, this would get us through three or four coronal mass ejections. As long as we don't need more steam turbines to keep up with it. We've been banking energy by flashing steam to 5,000 degrees. Or 500, actually. Because we don't have high temp steam turbines. Uh, but yeah, we're not having the slightest trouble with that one. It's gone through like 3k. It should go through about 6k steam. And we've got 50,000 stored per large tank. So about 12% of our stored steam. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed.
I have to admit, when it made the you cannot jetpack sound, I was a little concerned there. That was loud. over here. Isn't there one base to the right? Uh, there probably was. What is that I'm hearing to my left? Is that the sound of the spitter? Why is it? Why am I hearing it on my left? I'm not wearing my headphones backward. Three up here. I'm not spotting the base you might have been referring to. There's one next to that iron as well. Ooh, worker robot speed is almost finished. That's nice. That means our throughput wherever we've got logi bots just went up, or is about to go up quite a bit. Just below where the dark area gets thinner, there's a brighter red spot. doop a -doop. Just below where the dark area gets thinner, there is a brighter red spot. This one? You said to the right. I'm guessing this isn't the one you're referring to. It's actually just worms. But I should try... I should tag them. Um, kill. There we go. Closer to the desert. So this big desert or one of these little ones? Oh, this spot? Let's actually mark all of the ones that aren't super easy to spot whenever we do see them. Just up to the left of that one. This one? I think I already mentioned the one next to the iron. Uh, I thought that was something. But it isn't. Went past it. Went past it. Fantastic. Okay. Up we go. Oh my god, let me move. Jesus. Spooky. How much flamer do I have left? A decent amount, actually. I 
see enemies up here, over here. Maybe like a a white star or something would be easier to spot. It's actually pretty easy to see. It's hard to spot the red within all the red. It really is. The, uh, I didn't even spot this one before either, so that was lucky. Uh, the Rampant mod actually gives you biters of all kinds of colours. That are more or less difficult to spot against different environmental backgrounds. move. I hate movement debuffs. Murphy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Said the 8k SPM vanilla mega base is ready for a tour. <laughs> uh, that's usually after my stream, right? I think. I don't know. Spawners. Why is the flamethrower so weak against the spawners? The flamethrower, when it was first introduced, was unbelievably overpowered. You would literally just run into the middle of biter nests and go twirl in all directions, uh, and everything, absolutely everything, would die. <laughs> Another big one. Let me move. Let's use these rocks. Perfect. Comrade Rock tanking one for the team. I was going to say, I thought there was another one down here, but we actually just cleared the one that I did already, Mark. We've got yet another sneaky base hidden in the red. Oh, the Tesla gun is less reliable when there's all these random rocks around. But it gets the job done pretty quickly, regardless. Have we actually cleared this quarter of the map, except for this bit? I think we might have, I hope. There's another one over here. Alright, so we want to go... a little bit east and almost completely south. 55, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Toe 10, welcome, welcome. Also, personal laser defense mark 2 is going to be complete before I finish clearing this planet. Uh, I wish I hadn't been in such a hurry. Then again, I'm not entirely sure what checklist crazed mode of thought I could have put myself in to make sure that I wouldn't forget those things.
Let's have a peek at Nalvis and see how that rocket loading is going. Is it finished? Really? Um. Okay, more stuff. Rail. I was going to put in a whole bunch of rail. That'll keep the bots busy for a minute. We've got two little bases over this way, one up here. I think I'll start with the one to the north. I'm surprised I didn't fall out of the sky because of radiation. Go back up to lake. Oh, this one? Good call, thank you. White dragon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's no way I've got everything that I will need to craft this, right? Actually, lithium batteries. Yeah, I'm not going to have those handy. I might have them in the main bus base on Nalvis. Or I could just wait till the research finishes, make them on Nalvis, and then send them. Because at this rate, it'll still be relevant. I think I just had deja vu. How much more deeps are we looking at? Uh, let's see... Damage 15 plus 21 laser, shooting speed 10 plus 7. 20 plus 28 laser, shooting speed is the same. So like 25% more damage. That is not bad. After killing all the worms on this planet, surely nothing will respawn? Uh, yeah, correct, nothing will respawn. Especially after we confirm hostile extinction, click the button... Uh, it'll change the biter threat to 0%. Of course, there's more than likely going to be a worm somewhere. Or a little tiny biter nest somewhere. No matter how hard we try to scour it. Well, we'll eventually clear it, but... um, No matter how confident we are that we have cleared it, when we click the button, we'll probably find that there's something. Pew pew. And over here. Fantastic. I see nothing. Alright, I'm hoping that the hard to spot ones have been collected. Let's head over for some easier to spot ones. Would be useful if the bottom high life highlights the nearest biter, yeah. I mean there is one way to find biters. Uh, but we don't have the technology yet. Or well, two ways. The auto-glaive and the auto-targeting on the uh, weapon delivery system. Come to think of it. Uh, we'll need Material 1 to get the weapon delivery system, but that's all. Oh, and Astro 1 as well. We've already got energy one. Uh, but yeah, it requires a lot. I thought it used to take 50 heavy girders for one pile driver. 
Did I imagine that? Or did they massively buff this thing in terms of material cost? Or it could be the same, uh, like considerably less damage. Or way less cost per shot. I think I can actually clear the whole planet with the Tesla that I've got left. So let's stop mucking about. Let's stay over here. We've actually been regenerating health. Which means I haven't made a big mistake in a while. to be able to spam nukes. They buffed it and nerfed nukes. That kind of makes sense. Um, switch to Tesla, that's what I meant to do. We go. Another couple of small ones over here. Do you have landing pad on this planet? Yep, I brought five. Ready perfectly. Oh, 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 that could have been bad. Let's not muck about. I didn't expect double, uh, double behemoth snapper right in my face. They're a bit faster than you would think. A couple of really tiny nests up here. I don't know if the craft item count changed, but the craft time did for the uh, pile drivers. I was very, very much bottlenecked on the iridium itself when I used pile drivers. I had like something like 16 or 20 uh, weapon delivery systems. But it was very, very much the heavy girders that we were waiting on. Well, that just makes me look forward to getting the weapon delivery system even more. Now that we're clearing our Iridium planet, uh, we've got maybe less than a dozen nests to clear if we're lucky. couple of tiny ones up this way. Nice save. And up here. This 
my laser out of charge? It is. That's about how long it takes. Oh, a little nest up here that I didn't spot before. We're at 88%. I, I bet I can clear before this research finishes, actually. Especially if I use the Tesla gun a lot. Hold on. Oh, god damn it. Back we go. Fantastic. 89%. Come this way now. It's just a couple of worms. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six in like a circle, kind of. We can definitely beat the research if this is the end of it. That's a big if. out for the rocks. Tesla ammo is getting lower than I thought it would, but I think we're okay. Three percent, it's actually going to be close, I think. Does the direct damage just not apply with the flamethrower with these guys, or oh, I think it does. Possibly, but definitely not a guarantee the final nest. Alright, let's confirm not hostile extinction, probably. There are still hostiles. Where are there host? Oh, that wasn't too hard. 96%. 27 Tesla ammo left. They should really put in a feature to just find the biters with the navsat or something. All 
All right, confirm hostile extinction. There are still enemies. Uh, I see them. Or at least some of them. Still got plenty of fuel. 98% on the personal lasers. The thing is, I don't really know how close it is. Because there could be a single worm that we missed on the other side of the planet. Confirm hostile extinction. There are still hostiles. Oh. There's a couple of worms way over there. Go, 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 go. 99%. I don't think we're going to make it. Unless it, unless this is the last uh, nest. The research is going to beat it. Uh, beat us to it. No! Ah, uh, if it turns out that I was less than a minute short. North of that one as well. North of that one. Oh yeah, I see it. Well, I guess there's no need to rush anymore. Also, let's research something else. Laser shooting speed. I kind of want to do the... Ooh. Atomic bomb, you say? Nuclear artillery shell. That seems safe. I kind of want to try the advanced exoskeleton. now. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Still have enemies on Gibbon. I see a single worm right on the edge of the map. Let's get that. We're already 3% on laser shooting speed. Maybe I should have done that sooner. Didn't go past it, did I? Oh. <laughs> I literally just skidded to a stop exactly in the right place. Confirm. Whoops. Confirm hostile extinction. False. Oh boy. That's not biters. Oh! I see him. Let's see if we spot any more while we're at it. Because I don't necessarily want to cross the entire planet before having to turn around. I'm 
Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Saw something pretty much dead south near the edge. Like, right down here. Or as in directly south from where I am. There is one right of your location. Yes, there is. Thank you. Uh, dead south, you say? Near south to the west of lake. This lake? This lake? South to the west of lake. Um, the other one. The other, other one. Uh huh. Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, that's not too hard to see on the map, the kill thing. What if I used the white star instead? That's not much better or worse, really. In F4 debug menu, that's a good idea. Uh, show biter expansion. Expansion candidate chunks. Uh, actually, I'll do it on always because my debug has a lot of stuff. Okay, that's something we should have done before. Uh, I think we know where they are now. Let's head over this way. Does it show it on the mini map? I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Even better. Ow, ow, ow. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And uh, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, Deknot. Uh, Deknot, is that is that how to pronounce that? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Remind yourself and insidious that killer. Is Remind yourself and that overconfidence killer. is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Deck is fine. Okay. Deck. Alright, this time we do not careen directly into the tiny enemy nest uh, that happens to have a... Snapper waiting for me. And over this way. Found this series on YouTube. I'm at episode 2. Long way to catch up. Nice, nice. Hope you enjoy it. That does not take long to get rid of the spawner. We've barely got any ammo left, though. And down. I might just leave these on in future. Uh, I really don't care if it's... Like, if it was a Death World challenge or something, this would obviously be cheating, but, like, for the purpose of space exploration... Knowing where the biters are is definitely something we want. And then we 
got one, two, three, four nests left, it looks like. Almost there. We got we actually got so low on Tesla ammo. Okay, nope, 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 not this again. No, you don't. And up we go. I wonder if there's a way to get rampant enemies without rampant massive increase in biters and biter aggression and unfortunately tanks the UPS. Probably look into that. I just hope, uh, even if we've gotten rid of all the biter spawners, it doesn't say can't confirm hostile extinction because there's one worm somewhere, and that's not actually showing up with a expansion candidate, a set of chunks for expansion. Okay. Oh, there's one more way down here. One to the south near the lake. Yeah, the one the one everyone was trying to make me see. Oh, it's actually like... Yeah, that's kind of sneaky. Is this modded? This is very modded. Yes. Indeed. Casey James Rauch. Uh, Nathanite. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see all the mods, or you can type exclamation mark mods. But basically, it is space exploration, Crestorio 2, uh, a bunch of quality of life stuff, bulk rail loaders, crafting combinator, and I can't think of much else. Oh, and editor extensions. I would just call that quality of life, really. Uh, but we have it set up so that we can jump to a separate surface where we can design our base with infinite resources without going to a different save game. Okay, drum roll. Can we confirm hostile extinction? There are still hostiles <laughs> detected. On Gib Hill. Okay. The nightmare is real. Oh, I did mark these two earlier, so there's that at least. And it is literally just worms. So we know there's one, two, three worms over here. Um we'd better hope there aren't any more. Because we're gonna have to pan across the entire place. Like this one. Gonna have to pan across the entire planet to find them. Isn't there an F4 option to check for potential spots for expansion? We did just use that. There are no potential expansions left because there are no biter spawners. Uh, but there are at least four worms left on the planet. I wonder if there's a mod or similar that helps you find worms, indeed. Uh, expansion. Show enemy. Let's see. Enemy. So it's literally just these two. Okay. Um. I guess we start flying again. 
honestly though, I'd like to... T I mean, I should be building this outpost. Uh, if we're sure that biters are never going to attack us, I could just start building. And I could find the worms off stream. That seems reasonable. Because I definitely don't feel like flying around looking for seven more worms at this point. And I definitely don't feel like doing that on stream. Just need to find the worms so at least you know there aren't any more spawners exactly. Hostile Finder is the mod? Okay, I'll have a look at that. I'll have to do a big uh, backup. Because... I haven't updated in a while, as I generally don't with this sort of thing. Where's our base? Oh, we're headed straight for it. Pretty much couldn't have been more on target. That is a drill spot. Alright. Uh, step one. Solar panels. Uh, step 0 0.9. Make more space in our inventory. Do we have any more... Solar panels and or accumulators in storage. We do. Give me all of that, please. Have some signals, roboports, plate, various intermediate products. Uh, seven more stacks, you say. Uh, whatever, combinator things. Okay, so that's literally all our solar. I think I'll put them out here where we're not going to pick out, uh, pick up as many rocks as we go. And did I have the blueprint for this? I actually did. Uh, it's not in a blueprint book or anything. Oh, wait. I need to go pick up my bots first. Also, this blueprint isn't quite what I'm looking for. You could do it like this to find worms, go into satellite mod and fly around with Max to zoom out. Read chat, watch movie, etc. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Um, we're gonna need substations, I'm realizing. And we need bots. Let's put five things in here as well. Uh, I think this is literally all the bots on the planet. Except for the logi bots, but that's not what I'm looking for. Need bots, indeed. Uh, and I need robo. That's going to drop stuff out of my inventory. Uh, how about this? There we go. Alright, robo port on. Let's blueprint this. Snap to grid relative um and shift click drag works like that and we're gonna do 20 by 20 and hmm i guess i need to put that in the blueprint library in order to access it from here Will you rail grid this planet? Uh, yes. Will the solar be in the way? We can easily move solar panels, it's not that difficult. Um, but 
I'm going to try to keep outposts as simple and small as possible. Um, so what we've got on Granis is actually like, it's only as big as it is because this is the early game. Um, I have to produce liquid rocket fuel in order to take off the cargo rockets. Um, we're sending cargo rocket sections, space capsules, uh, among other things like I think steel and iron plate via cargo rocket. Um, but yeah, with like all of the infrastructure here is pretty much just to serve one purpose, and that's getting vulcanite core fragments off planet. We're also getting coal while we're at it because we were struggling for coal. Uh, and petroleum because we were struggling for petroleum as well. And we literally can't spend all of our petroleum on this planet. Because uh, with this mod set you can't make uh, petroleum into liquid rocket fuel. When you make a backup, how can... You can update SE, there are nice UI improvements, indeed. Yeah, I think I saw a couple of those. This is actually getting done quicker than I realized it would. Um, I keep forgetting just how strong the portable nuclear reactor is. Oh, and we've got more... I don't actually want to put the extra personal robot ports in because it's going to increase the range uh, which is going to make the bots fly further to do the job. Also the bots do have to recharge. Oh here we go. Now we've hit the wall. The port nuclear reactor is good? Oh yeah. I could never seem to keep my stuff charged off it. It's by far the best option I've got for now. 2.4 megawatts for 4x4. Um, the only other options I have right now are solar panels. There's, there's no RTG. Not yet, anyway. Oh, yes there is. I lied. Uh, 800 kilowatts compared to 2.4. I think it's the same size. 4x4, 4x4. Yeah. Um, and the amount of fuel that this, the, the amount of uranium fuel cells that this consumes is minuscule. It is insane how long the uranium fuel cells last. Um, to give you some idea, we've gone through like 1.1 perhaps on each portable nuclear reactor uh, from the power armor the whole time clearing this planet. Um, I'm pretty... Uh, pretty... Uh, what's the word? Frugal? With stuff like that, especially when I made like two uranium fuel cells before we had Coverex back on the... before I could even process the uranium back on Malvis. Um, and even I'm just not feeling the cost of running these things at all. Not not in the least. Crestorio 2 stuff is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Crestorio 2 has some some nice toys. The uh the nuclear power plants in Crestorio 2 are kind of overpowered as well. Because um I mean, they probably consume fuel faster. I mean, they would have to, because you're actually... The uranium fuel cells uh, give you an amount of energy. But this right here, 2x2, two two, uh, almost the simplest nuclear reactor you can make. Uh, the ratios for the heat exchangers, accumulators, and nuclear reactors is actually much easier uh, to lay everything out. Um, you're going to need a lot less heat pipe, which means you're not going to have heat pipe problems. That's kind of 
the biggest headache of making nuclear reactors, actually. Um, but yeah, this 2x2 two two is, I believe, 1.5 gigawatts. Um, and look how easy it was to lay it out. I haven't tried making any bigger nuclear reactors with K2 yet, but I don't see any reason not to expect them to just be easier than with vanilla or vanilla with SE. K2 antimatter reactors are so OP. Oh boy, I can imagine. How much power are we getting so far? 52 megawatts? That's a decent start. There is small AoE RoboPort mod. Oh, I was in mini RoboPorts. I'm really looking forward to... I... Okay, if you use the editor extensions mod, be very, very careful of this. Do not have your bots out when you switch over to the editor, because they will teleport to it. Um, the RoboPort... Uh, large RoboPort. I'm pretty sure it's K2's fault that my current RoboPorts only have three slots for bots, and that's terrible. But look at this. Uh, and the area is considerably larger. 20, 20 stacks of robots, uh, 10 stacks of repair packs. Not that we care much about this. Uh, and more importantly, look at the radius. Jay, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I wonder how long until we get those. Roboport, we need... Oof. Energy and Material 3. And Advanced Tech Card. That's going to be a little while. I didn't expect it to be relatively close by either. I'm just glad it's not hidden beh behind, like, tier 4 science. You know about the mode switching? Yeah, I do. You can have it function as construction or logistic only with greater range. Uh, we still have solar panels. I guess I could have gone to the trouble of getting advanced solar panels before we left. I would have had to wait a little while for the research. And I have to get nitric acid in place. That's kind of a pain. I'd have to make a whole block for making solar panels. Uh, let's see, we've got 300 plus change uh, for solar panels. How many is this in the blueprint? 50, oh, 36, was it? 36. So that's not even going to be enough. Oh, I'm actually out of accumulators. And I'm out of solar panels. I did slightly miscalculate that. Let's go get our panels from up here. But first of all... Get some jetpack in the old thruster suit. That's better. And as you can see, the jetpack acceleration, that's where it pops up. Um, 
I meant to run big power poles just now, but I was distracted by the slow flight. And back we go. Don't need the... well, probably don't need the laser turrets. Give me all, all of that. But not the rocks, actually. And the stone. We'll go in here. Alright, place the last few of those. I'll keep a few accumulators handy if I can. Because we want to power control the uh, ore mining drills. We actually do have a few spare. Wait. Oh, it's so close. We have three accumulators. Well, I'm going to be making more than three drills, so I'll probably have to steal some. Anyway, let's start getting things going. Uh, where did I put all of the things? Here we go. Just going to mark that on the map. Here are blueprints for easy grid aligned outposting. Sure. You know about the mode? Oh, yeah, yeah. I Got that already. Alright, let's grab our rail blocks. I think I'll start um, I'm thinking we'll have our main blocks here. So like Short train depot, long train depot, this can be the mall probably. Let's go pick up some rail, let's go pick up all of the rail, and uh, I'm sure this, oh here we go. Okay, this is the point where I think I will actually end up with my inventory too full. Uh, oh no, oh no, stop, 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 stop. Uh, I was going to swap it out to use more RoboPorts. And I'll just park myself somewhere like here. Although, what I could do, since I have so many... We don't have to fly around at supersonic speed right now. Why don't I just use the power armor? And really go all... The robots abandoned me when I swapped to the power armor. No! I need a jetpack to fly. No! Now they're all taking their sweet time recharging. Abandoned. Okay. Uh, give us back that rail. I've just got ten more bots to charge. Anything else I want to pick up? Perhaps... Alright, I'm back here, bots. And let's go place this stuff. See what kind of range I've got. Uh, that's better. 
if it was one whole rail block so I could just sit in the middle, I'd be rather pleased. That's what we had last time with the construction spiders. Uh, they would just carry... Did these things get nerfed? Because I don't think construction spiders had more than like eight Mark II roboports. And we used to use bigger rail blocks. I'd have them sit in the middle and the whole thing would get built. Doesn't seem to be working that way right now though. Also, I kind of expected there would be um, used used up uranium fuel cells over here, but evidently they just disappear. Wait a second. No, no, no. We put 50 in. As soon as it starts consuming fuel, it subtracts one and we get a red line here. We didn't, we didn't spend 1.1 uranium fuel cells per... Um, per portable nuclear reactor in the power armor clearing this entire planet we spent 0 0.1 uranium fuel cells per reactor to do all of that that is how efficient it is how do you like the grid you are using? I absolutely love it I've only ever used your Yoyomas train grid. Uh, this is one I just came up with for this playthrough. I wanted to do something a bit different from last time. Uh, I went with smaller trains, smaller grids. There's just enough space, well, uh, and a little bit more, to have a block of assembly machines or something making something, fitting comfortably under, like, the maximum that you can fit under a wide area beacon on either side of the rail block. Um, so I've been, where I can, I've been building it so that later we can upgrade by just plunking down a wide area beacon in the middle. Uh, where possible, on top of that, I've been laying things out so that we could fit uh, smaller beacons. So like, a small beacon here, 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 and here. Uh, a wide area beacon would go here. Uh, but yeah, the the other nice thing is the trains are much more agile than I'm used to, which is good. But also, it doesn't take as long for a production area to fill up a whole train load of stuff, which. I like that. I like it doesn't take 20, 30 minutes. Uh, instead it takes like 5 or 10 minutes or something before a whole train load is ready. It means that our production, when we don't have everything saturated, it's a lot more smooth and reliable. Also, uh, if we ever do have any traffic issues, they get resolved far quicker than the grid from the last playthrough. Um, also, the trains fit together better with, like, we can do a station here, a station here, and there. we could also do rail going down this way. So you could have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight train stops for the longer trains, and they would never be blocking each other. Uh, there's just enough room for that. I honestly could not be happier with this, uh, with the way this rail grid turned out. Actually, nope, that's false. Uh, there is one, one thing that I dislike about it. And that is if we put a huge storage tank on the opposite side... Uh, from where the train stops. We just barely cannot fit it so that we have uh, pumps going directly into the huge storage tank to maximize the flow rate to pick up or drop off fluid. We can put a huge storage tank down here, 
um, if we so desire, of course. But if we had just one more tile up here, it would be... I couldn't honestly think of something I dislike about this system. The single wagon train looks so cute. Indeed. I'm in the middle of my first space exploration playthrough. My main problem is the grid I'm, use, uh, grid I'm used to isn't compatible with space rail. How is it not compatible? Oh no. Uh, how is it not compatible? Space rail is basically just rail. Oh, do you mean the blueprints don't exist with space rail? You can actually... I can't remember where it is, but there's a tool online... Uh, I think you can find a link to it on the Discord, uh, where you can paste in, basically replace this entity with space rail for blueprints. Yeah, thanks for that, Data Noom. Alright, I need to drop off yet more stone. Are you going to move those meteor cannons to clean up the mall? Uh, yes, I've been meaning to do that for a minute. Definitely. Alright, let's go get our inventory full of stone again. I did it manually, export string, convert to JSON. Search, replace... Save JSON, convert back to string, import to game. The URL is ugly. These depots are super overkill for such a small outpost, but um, I don't think I care. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have made some, like, mini depots, just so that there's less, uh, fewer signals. But the only reason I care about that is, as we keep building out more rail, uh, it takes longer and longer for every, every single time you place or remove a signal, every single train repaths, even on different surfaces. I gotta get used to the new range on the Robopods. White Dragon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should come up with a standardized outpost wall. Uh, we've got something similar to what it should look like on Grannis, but it was obviously cobbled together the first time. Um, but basically we want... Oh, there goes some more Vulcanite Core Fragments. Uh, basically want some stations for drop-off of liquid rocket fuel plus whatever physical object we're sending back. Uh, we want a robot Mall. We want a cargo landing pad. We want a bunch of robopods around it in case a cargo rocket crashes. Uh, we should have an auto crafter here, but we don't. Anyway, let's keep building. system to export my blueprints to a repository for version control. That's a good idea. Oh, can you imagine if they built version control for blueprints into the game? You'd be able to go back and look at how your builds have evolved 
without keeping all the old blueprints in a way that's making a mess. I'm surprised they haven't created a version control. Yeah, it seems uh it seems like the kind of thing they do, I guess. Uh I think we've placed all the rail. We need red belt and we don't strictly need the wind turbines, but I brought 50 anyway because I'm always carrying them. Uh red belt. It's possible I didn't actually bring enough, but it's never difficult to get iron, and that's literally all Red Belt is, is iron. Uh, let's see, where is... I don't need to carry that many all at once. What am I looking for again? Red belt and oh yeah, the wind tun uh, I almost said uh, wind tunnels. Here we go. Give me back my combinators as well. I'm sure my inventory is gonna cry in a minute. It's fine. Oh, that's actually really good reach. It doesn't reach the outer edges to place all the rail, but I can stand in the middle to basically get a whole block done. I wish the devs would add virtual slash composite blueprints. What do you mean by that? I don't remember those computer science-y kind of terms. It's been, it's been a long time. Blueprints of Blueprints. Ah. Oh. Would this enable you to do, like... Recursive Blueprints? That sounds kind of weird. Okay. That's all of our signaling. I definitely didn't bring nearly enough red belt. Something to make sure we supply from Nalvis when we bother to send this rocket. Uh, how about another thousand? Fantastic. Wait, what? Logistic storage 102 on the way zero? But I just saw bots start moving. Oh, they're bringing... They're bringing the belt, and then I added the... Mm, so all of that's going to get tossed back into the robot network. Because of how this precise loading system works. Okay. As long as it's working. Um, okay, so we're obviously going to tap this whole mining drill. How many did I bring? Ten, I think. That is... Uh, 2.5. How much power do we have? I can't tell right now. Peak is 11 megawatts. Wait, is that all? Yeah, we're only getting 50 kilowatts from each solar. Maybe I should run nuclear here. For the moment. It's, I forgot how far out this planet is. It's actually not much better than Hagen for solar. In fact, the wind turbines... Well, 20 kilowatts consistently, or 51 kilowatts at peak. Mucky, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Cyclo, Major Mayhem, high speed. Good to see you all again. 
uh, we were just at the stage of outposting where we noticed the things that we've forgotten to bring with us. You might also want to take uranium home from this planet. There seems to be a lot. Uh, probably, yeah. That doesn't seem like a lot. How much is this? 35k. That's actually... That's actually pretty bad. Uh, but one could... One could certainly be understood for seeing this kind of near the middle where we landed and think that probably is a lot of uranium here. 52k if we go all the way out here. Uh, Swift. 01 AU, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Not too bad. Yeah, thanks. That is my favorite part of outposting, right? How was I not already following? I don't think you have to hashtag soz. Uh, Knight, thank you for the follow also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Um, I should probably get an iron mine going. Uh, where's my lazy mine? There we go. But an iron mine in the rail network means we have to... ...make a station to take the iron to... Maybe it would be easier this time to just do it... ...smelt it directly. Uh, we've got crude oil on tap, that's good. Where is the rest of it, though? It's actually looking kind of sparse. Oh yeah, crude oil's one of the worst uh, resources here. It is technically finite in K2, but I'm yet to notice any significant drop uh, in the amount of crude that we've got. Oh, I think there's one on Nalvis, where I made a note of how much crude oil was here, 4.4 mil. Oh, this one's actually down to 2 mil. So yeah, it does run out eventually, but uh, suffice to say, it lasts a good long time. We got advanced exoskeleton legs. It doesn't decrease in speed, it just stops when it's gone. Yes. Uh, as opposed to the percentage outputs from 4,756 is an oddly specific number for mining productivity research. But we should probably do that first. Um, I mean, we should definitely do it first, but is there something I would really like to get before we do that? Probably not, to be honest. Oh, we've got Zone... Well, we don't have Astro 1. We don't have Zone Discovery yet. If I hadn't already cleared the planet, I would definitely go for Tesla. Um... Oh, we can do Substation Mark 2. I wonder how big it is. 24 by 25? That's weird. Or is it 24.25? Supply area 24 by 24. Oh, I, I think I understand. The wire reach to touch the next substation. 4,326 packs. Uh, well, we've got some productivity. We do have some productivity bonus. Yeah. Well, currently I think we've only got Prod 2s in the sites. Because I just didn't get around to updating it. So, productivity bonus of 36%. Uh, I should probably get on that, huh? I could request some Prod modules get sent up in the next rocket. 
Oh, I think we need... For some reason, we still don't have a single prod module. Hang on, how many do we have here? Is that 218 prod 3s? I think it is. So why... If prod 1 is less than prod 3... Oh, that condition's never going to be met, I don't think. I did suspect a while ago that my logic was flawed on this, but um, we didn't see it play out yet. Is that substation new? I never saw that one. Also seems to be worse than pylons in most ways. Uh, let's have a look at it. Just make sure we turn off our RoboPort first. Jump into Editor. We've got lit versions of all of these, but this is the regular substation. This is substation Mark II. It's, I was going to say it's just barely better. It, it reaches two more tiles in all directions. Hardly seems worth the trouble, to be honest. Like, I think I'd just ignore it until I have pylons. Uh, and this is pylon substate. Holy crap. I forgot just how good these are. Now I, now I feel sad that I don't have them yet. But yeah, there's barely any difference. Um, and they cost a regular substation, three immersium beams, two processing units, four holmium cable, and six rare metals. I think I'll just skip this one. I think if it was maybe four... Four more tiles in each direction, it would be a difficult decision still. Six, and I'd be sold. Only hard thing is energy, too. Yeah, you say that early when you are literally one tile off earlier. Yeah, but like, okay, look at what it takes to get. Hang on. How far away are we from these? Oh, we could do it right now. I don't have Immersium Beams, but I'm pretty sure that's just like one step away from what I've already done. Um, I don't know why we're not hearing the sound, but not Slipnit. Thank you for the follow. Uh, whereas Pylon substations... Spylon substations? Pylon substations. Energy 2, Astro 1. That's really not that bad for how good they are. We just need to do Astro 2 and Energy 2, and it only costs 200. What I really want, uh, so we need Astro 1, Material 2, and then Energy 2 to get most of the things that I really want and have those for the rest of the playthrough. Spaceship, though, uh, I forgot it's basically just Astro 3. So I think we'll go Material 1, Energy 2... Uh, what was the next one? Oh no, material... Hold on. Space elevator. I think we'll go material 1, 2, energy 1. We need energy 1 first. Material 1, energy 1. I mean astro. I keep saying energy. Material 1, astro 1. Material 2. Astro 3. Oh wait, don't forget energy 2 for the pylons. That'll probably be the path that we dig to go straight to the stuff that we want. What resources do you need to make a space elevator? It is... Uh, oh, it doesn't actually show it here, does it? 
space elevator. The cable requires... You need to keep paying these to upkeep it, but it's incredibly cheap for what it is, uh, from what I've seen. Uh, you can make it out of nanomaterial later. Aeroframe pole and superconductive cable. Uh, otherwise, holmium cable, heavy girder, aeroframe pole, and pole for some reason. The elevator itself... is a lot of that stuff that we just said. 500 Holmium Cable Processing Unit Heavy Girder. Heavy Bearing is one of the simpler builds that I've ever seen in this... Uh... Well, last playthrough, it was one of the easiest things to make. Here it is. Heavy Girder, Iridium Plate, and some Lubricant. Uh, but the Spellevator itself... Lots of iridium, uh, quite a bit of holmium and plastic, lots of processing units, aeroframe pole is barrel, and a lot of concrete, refined concrete even. What happens if you don't pay it? Does it stop working? I imagine. Maybe it snaps and destroys the entire planet. Coal kind of makes sense. Those cables would probably be carbon nanotubes. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah. I can definitely see the path of which sciences we're going to focus on. Finally, a use for refined concrete that's not just a faster way to walk, right? <laughs> Forcing you to make something that you wouldn't normally bother with. It's also a cool way to make an otherwise obsolete resource viable again, indeed. Even if, uh, even if we have just really small spaceships for a while, uh, I'd really like to go for them as fast as possible. Uh, let's see, iron engine. We're going to have energy 2 already before we do this. So as soon as we get Astro 3. Uh, antimatter is obviously going to be a ways off from that. Spaceship. Structural Integrity 1, we're going to have access to that as soon as we get Astro 3. Material 2 we'll already have because we've done Space Elevator. We won't be able to do Integrity 3 straight away. Uh, I actually did some designs, um, but that was without K2. And that was with the last version. Uh, I did a bunch of spaceship designs for um, different amounts of uh, technology and structural integrity uh, after the last playthrough, and trying to standardize the area of the ship where the engines are with um, the clamps and refueling and all of that so that there'd be an easy upgrade path with different spaceships. Uh, but I'm going to have to do that again from scratch, I think. That might be fun. You need to rebuild it with a shit ton of cables if its upkeep isn't dealt with. That sounds about right. Um, all right, well, we're actually kind of uh, finishing up right about now. Uh, as much as we did get the late raid. There's only so much I can do, especially after streaming late yesterday. So let's see who else is factorioing. Uh, someone mentioned Colonel Will would be touring the finished mega base, but it looks like we're too early for that. We got that blue intertooth. Uh that one's German. Otherwise I would I would have jumped on another space exploration. Oh German and English? 
Alright. Let's give this person a go. I'll just double check that they don't have, like, no raids or we can't chat or something. That does happen. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. We'll be continuing with space exploration in... Uh, was it? One, two, three, four, five days. Tomorrow, going to be doing some more Don't Dig Up for Terraria. And uh, I think a couple of days after that, I'm going to do some XCOM. We're still going to be doing... Uh, Oxygen not included once a week, but for now I'm not going to do it twice a week. Uh, I, I, I'm enjoying it, I don't want to burn out on it. And uh, until then, take care. Bad boy, thanks for hanging out. 55, uh, Morpheus out, Vlad, Midden, everyone else, thanks for stopping by. And Deck as well.